Okay. 50 years of Pokemon. <laughs> just, Angel, we, got, we gotta stop working on this Pokemon show. I'm trapped. It only said it was gonna be one year, man. So, it, irrelevant. One year turned to ten, po ten years, man. Irrelevant to that entire conversation about permanent ten-year-olds in animation. <laughs> where we're playing, we're playing uh, Ratch and Clankster. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they send all the political prisoners. They just teach them how to draw and just send them to Pokemon. Where they can work on it forever. Yeah. Oh, did you forget them for the game in? No, I just forgot to close it. Oh. Send them to any anime studio. They'll work the hell out of them. <laughs> yeah. Overwork. So apparently, like, uh... uh like, the, the fact that Nintendo intentionally delayed it to, like, next year. Like, the Animal Crossing game was delayed to, like, May of next year. Yeah. March. I think it was May. March. Uh, it was one of the M months. And, uh... And people were, like, going, well, thank you for not overworking your employees, Nintendo. Except for the shot... The stockholders who... The Nintendo stock, like, dipped a little bit once they made the delay announcement. Yeah. Because they're like, well, we want it now! Do you think, uh, do you think it dipped on the, on the Pokemon announcement? Oh. Uh. You heard about that, right? Not all pogies are gonna be in Sword and Shield? Yeah, we talked about this, uh, last stream. Oh, did we? Yeah, uh, and that was the kind of thing where we were both kind of thinking, well, that's dumb. <coughs> that's, that's kind of dumb. I mean, I understand why they're doing it, and it, I, that, to me, says that they do plan to keep this going literally forever. Yeah, well... Because they realize they can't keep adding new ones forever, so this is their future-proofing. It's just, no... So we'll be, like, years from now, we're gonna be on Generation 27, and they'll still be having new Pokémon. A thousand years, a million years of Pokémon! Forever and ever. There's the universe... ActionPikachu.com! A hundred years, Pikachu! <laughs> oh, hello. Nice, just... Nice ball. Oh. The Walloper! Oh, nice. That, that's infinite ammo, right? It, it, it does. It's, a, it's the melee weapon. There yes. aren't many of those in this game. Yeah. You can actually hold it out and then spin it. That, that's, I don't think you can spin it. I think you can I think you can spin and then the glove has, like, damage. Uh, what do we want to replace? Get the blaster the and the missile are both good. Get rid we, of the flamethrower. Yeah. And then try, try my thing. Oh. No, I thought it was a, a glove on a spring. No. I forgot it wasn't that cool. That's an ape escape. Yeah. You you never played an ape escape. I played game, ape right? escape a little bit, and then I got to the second level and got immediately confused. Yeah. Because I didn't expect the level design for a Dreamcast game to be so intricate. Dreamcast. Yeah, ape escape it was on, on PS One. Was also on Dreamcast. I think they didn't they make one for Dreamcast. I don't think I I, this is the first I've been aware. No. Okay. <laughs> I was wrong then. It's PS. It's PS One. Also, the PS One controls. PS One was interesting because it was like the first like mostly 3D console, and they didn't really understand how to like do controls for that yet. Yeah. Well, so, that was Ape, Ape Escape was intentionally experimental because it was the it was the first game to use the require the dual sticks. Yeah. They were completely optional in every other game before that. <laughs> and then. uh... And then they did that, and then they were like, well, shit. Let's make a twin-stick 3D platformer. And, you know, not how, not know how to... It wasn't that bad. It was, I know it, was... it wasn't, but it was just... It, it was... was it was a gimmick. It was comparable to motion controls on the Wii. Because we... It's kind of interesting just how specific, like, development paths that kind of, like, uh, work and turn. Because you got, like... The games before like this where they were like, well, what do we use weapon switching for? And then I will do the shoulder buttons, and and then it just doesn't work out. And then somebody's like, hey, you know, what? hold this button, and then a wheel will pop out. And people are like, yeah, actually, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I still think that eventually there's gonna be a point in platforming where where the shoulder button is gonna be the jump button. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I feel like that that will happen because when I was doing it that way for uh, in that one stream of Galaxy, it just it just felt like it just felt right. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it other than this this actually makes a lot of sense. I've tried that for awesome knots and I could not get used to it. 
I can see it. People do prefer that for Austin Knots because it's a game with, you know, lots of yeah. different commands. Because that way it gives your thumb access to, like, all the different commands. You don't have to constantly switch your thumb because that, 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 uh, that's some... I mean, that's part of the game, though. That's the challenging part. <laughs> the controls? Yeah. Uh, that, that's, what sounded, we, right? that's what we call, uh, fake difficulty. Oh. Because it, you do it the other way, and then uh, that's why you... I couldn't get used to it. And other people could. I think I, I think that is that is why uh, that might explain why is people were able to react quicker than you were in uh, Awesome Knots because they had no, so, no, no, they were just better than me, Jack. Thank you, though. <laughs> I, hey, you know what? If you got used to that control setup, I'm sure you would have done better. Yeah. Well, For a game with simple control, some, something with not that many commands, I think the, the face button jump is perfectly fine. Yeah, fair enough, like Mario, but yeah. if you're doing something like more tactical, a tactical platformer, <laughs> that, that'd, be, that'd be interesting. <laughs> then, then you are going to want... Uh, you are gonna want your jump to be something on, uh, for your one finger. Actually, you got two fingers, so theoretically you could have like your uh, index uh, uh, for jumping and your uh, your middle finger for like aiming or, or what have. I also don't like that because it causes more uh, hand strain, though. Does it? Yeah, it's a lot harder for me, especially the middle finger, as opposed to face buttons, and especially on controllers that have like. Uh, like soft input triggers like they have variable input oh yeah they're not just a, si a simple button that clicks in which is much faster and i i like that so thinking about it i guess i guess theoretically if you're jumping around you wouldn't need to be like doing complicated aiming as you're jumping so i guess theoretically you could just use the same finger for for the both of them and just switch it's over here. Oh, that's not gonna reach. No. Your your blaster is a short range blaster. Got uh got fire got fire pro installed yeah. on and, I I bought it on sale. And you said that uh did you get all the DLC for it? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't buy anything extra. Uh, so the DLC includes additional, like, parts and, uh, moves and, and stuff. So you might want to get that. I'll look into it. <laughs> You're not gonna get it, are you? We'll see. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I should have told you what I remembered. But, uh, I didn't remember. So... Why why is it that just shooting those things will destroy the entire ship? Poor ship design? Maybe yeah. those okay, they're fueling the ship and it's it's like blowing up the fuel line. Oh, and then it blows okay. So you're just destroying all these like ships just I guess just cuz cuz the war you yeah, you're mucking in with the war effort. Yeah. Got to destroy them so that uh and before you ask, yes, this is the less combat-focused route. <laughs> By coincidence, I, I just kind of I picked a route at random. Yeah. It's fine. Here, by destroying their ships, they can't really get off the ground easier, so... It's fine. Gotta make sure the camera goes back to the ship. How many... How'd you lose 12 Dreadnoughts, sir? We were fueling them all at the same time. Yeah, how the- how did they explode? We were able to use these on, on a lava planet! That's how safe this shit should be! Oh, I got a skill point, I get- Yeah, was but I by, not, was by I, destroying them all! Was I not required to? No! Oh. You, you, but yet- Wanton slaughter. It's fine. This- this was necessary. What is a wonton? It's like a, uh, like a crab wrap, right? It's like a wrap. I don't think they put crab in it. They just it's just a wrap. Maybe. Like oh yeah, it's wrap. like no. I think it's like that, but with meat, meat like some kind of pork or something. Well, 
Was that all just a gold bolt? Yeah. Good, good job. This is the most Spyro this uh, music music uh, score has got. Yeah. That was all just a gold bolt round. Okay. What? <laughs> Wonder what that? that was. Oh yeah, uh, Ratchet and, and Clank are uh, are angry at each other still, aren't they? Maybe, maybe they just silently move past it. Maybe they'll resume being angry when we go back to the military planet. <laughs> they see a bunch of war. They just get really pissed off. Yeah. And it's also in the rain. There's a lot of a lot of shit going on on that planet. Where's our where's our ships up here? Turns out he's a mass, massive nationalist, and he just hates whoever lives on this planet. He just can't stand being there. Yeah. Hi there, fuzzball. Hi there, fuzzball. Yeah. Over to Jack. Okay. I guess I'm playing. Right, did you not want to? I'm good. Let's, uh... Where are we, where are we going now? Uh, menu. Oh, uh, we're still here. There are more routes on this planet. Oh. This planet's big. Alright, so... Left or right? All right. Greetings, sir. Greetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we should probably see see what some of these are like. And oh, it's too late for that. Some of whatnot. I was gonna say switch it to Mexican and, and see what it's like, but oh yeah, yeah, it's you can, fine. You can save and back out. That's fine. Let's just. And also, it's Spanish. Yeah. So, did, I, did I say Mexican? Yeah. Jesus Christ! What am I? <laughs> Although apparently, uh, just there's like a Mexican dialect of Spanish, and yeah, uh, no, it's as different as like uh, British English and American English. Yeah, is Spain Spain Spanish and Mexican Spanish? So, uh, I just switch to it, and then Ratchet immediately sounds super suave. <laughs> So, and somebody did a, a, a Steam Hams edit of, uh, are, these coming, are they coming from spawners? Yeah, they're just right in front of you. Okay. It's been on screen for like 10 seconds. Steam Hams edit. Uh, Steam Hams edit had uh, Skinner speak uh, in Spanish, English, and, uh, or no, Skinner was speaking in Mexican, uh, Spanish, and, uh, Chalmers? Ed Chalmers. Yeah, that's Super Nintendo Chalmers. Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah that's what people call him on on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, but uh, and he was speaking in Spanish. Spain, Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, so... And it was just listening to, 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 to it was just kind of funny because the... <laughs> for, for whatever reason, I, I'm pretty sure this was an accident, but uh, but the Spanish... Uh, can I, you want me to jump? Thank you. Spain, the Spanish... Spanish. Uh, the Spanish... Uh, the, the, sorry, the Mexican Spanish one was in slightly worse audio quality. Yeah. Like, not enough to be noticeable, but, or not enough that it was like... It ruined it? Not enough that it ruined it, but it was noticeable. Yes. It's... I... Uh... What a pointless turret. I can't blow anything up. Yeah, I got someone! Could be a skill point for those. Perhaps. I'm, that's why I'm like... God, so up and down is the slowest fucking shit in the world, uh, but left and right seems to be really, really quick. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably moving around faster than you would a real-life turret. I don't know. Although, real, I guess real, uh, practices for using turrets was just, like, kind of a spray and pray. Gatling gun versus ninjas. Are we going the right way? Yes, you can go up okay, that good, way. Good, good. I think there are two more routes on this planet. Okay, see, that's the route back. So oh, we're yeah. Going, we're going down. What? No, 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 no. There, there are crates, though. I wonder when we get the, the wrench smash upgrade. That's real convenient. Yeah. Very, I would say, like, game-changing. You're going down. 
down. Yes, you're, down you're, to the wall. You're right. I am going down. Fancy you should say that. <laughs> Back to you, me. You called it. I am. I did go down. Ow. What? Oh, that... I didn't... Did I encounter that guy? Uh, I think I killed him before, like, going back up to the start. Ah. Oh. Oh, I gotta do it more than one shot? Oh, okay, that's... That's what... <laughs> but why'd you tell me I was going down? Because you were going back down the hill. Like, from up here, oh. you were going down the hill, oh. back here. Oh, oh, okay, I thought you were, you said you're going down, as in, uh, there's a... Cause that's what I was looking for, I was like, okay, there's gotta be a way to... I was just following You the looked map. at the map, yeah. I, yeah, I was following the map! Thought there was a place I could jump from there! Uh-oh. Hmm. Are those things still around, where are they? They blend into the red and black everywhere. Yeah, natural camouflage. Long jump. No, stay back, stay back! Gosh, that was scary. Missed every shot. Back to Jack. Alright. The bullets aren't curving fast enough, Clank! Perhaps you should aim directly at it. Oh, they just leave once you're in the turret. Solid ground. Excellent rock. <laughs> These are energy weapons. They they only they're designed to destroy anything that isn't rock. So metal? Yeah. But... By the way, rock armor is banned. If you're caught using it, and you're consider you're you're committing a war crime. That's that's why it's fair. It's all it's fair. You wanna You could just get down and hit him. <laughs> Ratchet, if I may make a suggestion. <laughs> Shut up, Blake! <laughs> I'm, I, I think I, I don't know if I'm mad at you or not. I'm tactically wasting their ammo. Oh, good. There's like apparently invulnerability frames, invisible eye frames, eye eye frames. Yeah, there's more up ahead. They at least get knocked back a bit. Yeah. Maybe the, uh... I don't know how well the Walloper deals with them. Maybe that would send them, like, knocking knocking back. I'll check it out. Give me a second. Oh. Maybe it's useful as, like, a, a get-off-me weapon. Get-off weapon. Get... Get-me-off weapon. Sorry. <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of getting off, good news. What? The appeal worked. Oh, it did? Yeah. They, they, they allowed it! I put it in today, and they uh, they put the video back on YouTube. They just age-restricted it as requested. Okay. I'm cool. like, it's fine if you do this. Just don't take it off completely, guys. Come on. Yeah. Who? Where is the... There you are. That's a pretty good weapon. Can't use it in the air. It's not as versatile as the wrench for sure, but yeah, definitely get <laughs> off me, weapon. <laughs> Fuck off. The weapon here. Not quite that strong. Damn. 
I wonder if the Devastator would, would take it out. Maybe. They're crates, Jack. Crates! What? Where? Oh, shit! Oh. It can destroy those if the wrench can't. Power Glove does what Wrench Tendo don't. Ren Tin don't. Renji? Yeah, I'm working on a new startup making games. Gonna be called Ren Tendo. <laughs> cool, thank, thank you, Renji. Does that have anything to do with that other game com com uh, company, Ichiga? No! Fuck those guys! <laughs> I was thinking about, like, uh... About how, uh... Ichiga! Renji's a, a, a violent, uh, like, a, a very aggressive violent drunk. But he's really, an asshole. But, like, the chillest stoner ever. So when he's fighting Ichigo that one time, he's... Do you want to talk too much about, uh... Yeah, you're right. Stuff that hasn't shown yet? Yeah. But, uh, I, I just thought of how Feather's conversation Write him very differently. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Right. Oh, get the fuck. Oh, we're, we're in a robot factory. I get well, plane factory. I wonder if I never tried this on these guys, or maybe I just forgot it was the way to deal with them. They tend to do that. They give you a new weapon at the shop, and then they have enemies that kind of require that weapon. Yeah. It, it is a very good weapon. For getting those punks off you. Tanks? World of tanks! I, I actually wanted Can to Can you play. punch the tanks? I will check. They're just jumping around back and forth confused. Oh. Good tanks. Solid. I might buy one. Think that's ever happened in real life? Like a guy is at, at a car dealership, he just asks, "Yo, can I try something?" And then he just punches the car as hard as he can. <laughs> and if he doesn't dent it, he buys it. <laughs> Someone somewhere has done that. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Yo, can I try something? Punches a car. <laughs> Gotta be sure I'm getting my money's worth. I Pro probably in like Jersey. That seems like a Jersey interaction. <laughs> Why Jersey specifically? Uh, you, know, you know, like a bunch of like crass dudes who like to fight all the time. <laughs> is that is that Jersey? It's the fucking. Yes. It's the fucking. It's uh, the frat boy state. It's the Bristol of, uh, of America. The Blackpool of. Hey. Like Michael acknowledges this, this all the time. Anytime someone talks about Jersey, he's like, "Yeah, that's what it's like." <laughs> the frat. You know what? Jeremy's from did, Boston. Tells did, similar stories. Didn't Mega's XLRR take take place in Jersey? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. I know. That was like the theme song. Live here in Jersey. Yeah. So yeah, Jersey's the Jersey's the party the party state. Pretty much. That's what it's known for. Oh, I should have long jumped. Yeah. It's fine. You use the eye frames to get out of the lava with no damage. Damn. I got the Super fist of kicks. The fist of God. This is so. The, if Ratchet were in Smash, this would be like his his F tilt. Sure. Just just punches him. This game has a lot of a lot of neat weapons. Like he's not the most the most relevant character, but he would make for a cool Smash move set. Yeah, cause he's got all this fucking shit. He's the only character that, like, has, like, 500 specials, because you can just equip and unequip weapons. I'm sure they could, like Mega Man, they could just incorporate them into his other attacks. Yeah. But if I had to pick a shooter rep, it would personally be Ratchet, because just the weapons are so creative in this series. Yeah, I guess he's not, like, all that ultra-violent, like, hardcore, tiny dude that, like, other I, mean, I, I get nothing against that. A Doom guy would be cool for Smash. <laughs> Just if I don't. I don't even know how that would work. You made a better case for Ratchet than I could think of for Doom Guy. Doom Guy is more. Li Doom Guy is more likely because he's still relevant, and also a big part of Nintendo's history. 
Uh, he was a part of Nintendo's history. He appeared on SNES. Yeah. And he appeared on Switch. There, that's, that's the extent of Doom in, uh... I guess, yeah, Doom was more known as a PC thing. Yeah. I'm surprised that it got released, uh, in, uh... Now, it? Noah! Super Noah's Ark 3D. Or Super 3D no, Noah's he, he Ark. He can be... He can be an echo for Doom Slayer. <laughs> I like to. I would like to imagine that there's like a Smash Infinity somewhere where that's a thing. <laughs> Do you get Moses as a as like a baby? Not Moses. Echo? Sorry, uh, Noah. That, no, oh, yeah, Moses. Right. He he drove the Noah's Ark. I didn't think it was Moses. I don't know. What All those fuck? Bible guys blend together. Why am I using this? Here, go get him. Also, there's a turret here. But I think they can hit me in the turret, so I'll just, uh... Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh, I can't destroy these ones. Only the outside ones. <laughs> the outside ones are more weather-battered. Oh! <laughs> Anyone out there?! Not anymore! So is that in case somebody's like breaching the door and you need to just immediately put down a barrage of fire on them to sure. like prevent it from going in? Man, I can't wait for the the, the jet as well. The jet. The 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 upgrade to the helipack. Oh yeah. The, then that... we get like a, a a ground boost. We get the Pegasus boots. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, the hel helicopter function. It's kind of lame. I like jet. I like jetpacks wherever. Jetpacks are great. I was hoping there was some health about. Yeah. I know you were. It's probably further on. Oh, I think this is the end. Yeah. Hey, health. You're right. Health. Health. Yes. What? What do you think I said? I thought you said elf. Elf. Yeah. Elf. Uh, wait. Elf. Where? Elf. Uh oh! <laughs> hey, get off me! It's a non-issue. Another gold. Well, I didn't blow that up. What blew up? Now this is cool. Is it? Well, so what's that do? I think it's just a flag thing. It lets us pilot a certain ship later or something. That's it. Yeah, it's not useful anyway. We, we, it's, it, we need to use it. To well, now, now he's got a cool helmet. Yeah, he does have a cool helmet. Check out that helmet. I'm not piloting this thing without a helmet. Are you crazy, Clank? Oh, hello. Here's something. Not on the map. You gotta believe! <laughs> I know how to deal with you. <laughs> Explosive barrel. Ow! Ow! Yeah? Alright, plan B. Uh oh! He didn't destroy the spawners. Good night. Did I miss one? I destroyed at least a spawner. <laughs> oh god, the brightness. It's pretty low. Oh, didn't we have brightness settings for uh, Ratchet? Maybe. I think we did. Here, why don't you go through here? I'm gonna All tweak right. that. Alright. I don't see anything. Oh, uh, hold on. Pause it. Sorry, I need to, uh, I need to switch screens. It'll always appear on other on primary screen. By the way, is there a delay set or? Yeah. Okay. I know it's a bit late for that, but I just. Yeah, I, I set it. Okay. All right, that's a little. Uh, that's a little better. You're good. 
Oh, the bullets light it up now. Yeah. That makes it seem scary. Blaster. Oh shit. The oh That's god, that's not scary! A good way to go. Wait! Where'd the helmet go? No, oh, the helmet! Very important. We need that Thumbs fucking up. helmet! How dare they take it off of me on death! Yeah, this looks much better. I imagine the daylight levels are gonna look weird, though. Eh, yeah, maybe. He just sinks into the lava like he's just drowning in water. That's that's that that is terrifying. Not a word. I'm reminded of that scene in Volcano where uh, the one dude sinks into the lava. Yeah, if you wanna stop screaming. Yeah, if you wanna look that up, just see what I mean. I'm good. Just like ah, ah, ah. And yeah, that that's it. It's just just fucking It's just like he stops and you know you know that that it's over. You know, run around lava walls. <laughs> it's fine. We got a helmet on. We can we can breathe in this. Yeah, this is what the helmet was for. Oh God! Do you have oh. like a surreal, like uh, low budget magical realism like movie where a guy's like, we can't, can't go in there. It's toxic. We need a helmet, and then everybody's just wearing bike helmets. Yeah. And, it's and okay. They're, they're enchanted. <laughs> And then one person loses their bike helmet and they start gasping for air. Like, oh, I can't breathe. Well, isn't it? I think it's the second game has the bike races, right? There, I remember there being, like, hover bikes. Yeah. With a biker voiced by Stephen Bloom. Yes. The great Stephen Bloom. The, the legendary, voice acting legendary Stephen Bloom. Right. Aw. Oh, I still Steve have one more. Sir Steve. What the? That works! <laughs> You're out of ammo. Uh oh! Hmm. Alright, you guys made me do this! I didn't want to do it! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Hey, you got him. How many of these fuckers are there? They gotta make the You're, gold bolts difficult. You keep missing. Yeah, I am doing that. That... <laughs> I can't, like, I can't go into first person and aim, because they'll, they'll shoot me. Well, they, you're, you're all, this isn't working. Would've eventually. You would've been out of rockets, and those are fucking expensive. You did it! Good job! All right, What's going on down here? Just like stamping stuff? <laughs> this is actually Chernobyl. You're gonna die of radiation poisoning. But not as long as I got my Coolio helmet! Yeah, that's why the helmet was important. It allows you to exist. <laughs> Fuck it. And surprise ambush. You take out the vent for a gas mask, shit's growing on it. <laughs> That's how bad it is. <laughs> like, on this side, it's clean. But on this side, you see the mushrooms growing out. Very contaminated. See, we got, uh, we got ammo. For the Glove of Doom. Ratchet, you appear to be dying. Should we get back into the ship? Maybe I should take the next planet. You're not driving any... 
Okay, but if you're driving back to that one planet, I'm gonna hate you again. They didn't say a fucking word to each other. This entire- <laughs> Are we done here? I thought there was a third path. Uh, I thought there was. That was actually the- I thought, like, up the hill was a third path. But oh. it wasn't. It was just the way back. Oh. So we came here to get a helmet, they said not a fucking word to each other. Nope. <laughs> Damn! He's like, this is a sweet helmet! Leaves. They blow up some ships. Got a gold bolt. Cool. Hold your breath. That'll cover- it can protect you from a toxic planet. Just cover your mouth. <laughs> O2 mask required. So, it wasn't the- so the helmet is just because he needs a helmet, the oxygen mask is something else. Yes, that's a different helmet. That's funny. Uh, do, do you want to try this? I'll try it. Any, any clank gadgets? You can't even shop. They won't uh, sell the robots. We don't serve their kind. <laughs> that was weird. People were really racist against droids in uh, Star Wars. Oh, yeah? They're just like, we don't serve their kind. They're just robots. And it's just like, the, do, do robots have a, a... Do robots have, like, a requirement for, like, Tasty beverages. Uh, it's okay, sir. I don't have feelings. That's so fucking like poor R two or and poor three PO just being unfairly kicked out of that bar. Yeah. It was just like, why weren't they allowed in the fucking bar? I'm so fucking confused! They, they could be bugged and you would never know, because they're robots. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a bad guy bar. The, the only- you can't- they can't allow Imperials to, like, uh... Alright, let's fight. Fisticuffs. What? 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 I am not so lazy that I cannot jump. I find this planet very condescending. <laughs> Perhaps its inhabitants are very short indeed. Hello. I, I assist you. I have freed you. I now own you. Oh, they can't climb. Okay. You're fine now. So wait, where am I going? Am I going back up? Is that what they want me to do with this? Well, there's more stuff down there. But, okay. I see. I, I understand. Right in the fucking schnoz. Alright. Oh, I think you have to manually tell them to enter with the quick select. Oh! Every time they go into one of those. The triangle. Oh, yeah. I forgot this was a fucking command. Left. Left. That's... That's dumb. This Star Wars music, by the way. Follow. Follow me. Set me free. Enter. We'll escape. We'll escape the city. Oh, sorry. I meant, I meant follow. What is this shit they've got all over their planet? Just invents and shit? Uh... Y you wanna... Go get them! Good job, my minions. Come, my minions. You are my new friends. Oh no, a problem. Be sacrificed, friends. I have... Tried... That's the way we do things in the Doom Patrol! <laughs> God damn it! I told you to give you one simple order and you refused to follow it! <sighs> anyway, let's go solve this problem. You coming? <laughs> That's still just funny. Just just how that relationship was. It was just yeah. like... 
Beast Boy, you need to learn how to follow orders. Now come with me. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, that's a ratchet only ledge. Yeah, that's what I figured. I need to get the oxygen mask. Nanites. Interesting how the nanites heal robots as well as humans. Yeah, they, they, they know how to repair shit. <laughs> Can't do any kind of air attack. I can only yeah. punch. Clank's uh, pretty limited. Yeah. Disappointingly so. I'm not here. Alright, time to recharge. Back to my maximum potential! I don't know. Well, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll fuck with this thing. What are you looking up? I'm just curious about something. Are you, you're looking up Shoshomaru fan art? What is... See it? Hey, oh my god. Is that, is that Shishomaru as fucking Clank? It's Clank Shishomaru. <laughs> I can't drag it to the, the obs. Oh, really? For some reason. That's I can weird. do it with some images, but not others. Different format, maybe? I oh, know. I need six? Why? There he is. Same voice actor. <laughs> just, just clank at Comic Con. <laughs> Do you like my costume, Ratchet? <laughs> I must defeat Shashomaru. I, hey, I am... Ratchet. I got a voice acting gig in anime. <laughs> okay, so we got two up here. Oh, they, sh they probably need them to, like, uh, take on that crab thing from oh, yeah. earlier. You wanna follow me off the ledge, boys? I was been... Uh, oh, they can't even walk down. Okay, well, fine, you can stay up there. That's four. Hey, cool, it's over. And here we see Clank, uh, Clank's many online followers. Clank! Kill the crab while you're down here. Oh, yeah. And by kill him, I mean have the help kill him. Anything here? No? No, he's guarding a dead end. This is my what a senseless waste of alien life. Oh man. I still think one of the best things like I don't know if it's like Monty an asshole. Python. That uh, that was a good sketch. The parrot sketch was pretty good. I like to think the parrot sketch happened after uh, with the same guy after the uh the, or the cheese sketch happened after the parrot sketch, or... Yeah? Yeah, because... There's apparently a whole series of sketches involving the that pet shop. I think the same one that the parrot one took it place in. <laughs> Alright, well, then let me show you. Polly! You can wake up now! Whap, 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 whap. He's just hitting the fucking parrot on the desk. It, it, which means it wasn't even just like a corpse, it was just a taxidermy. He sold him a taxidermy parrot. Speaking of whapping birds, some people are, uh. And there's always gonna be mixed opinions on everything, but some people are complaining that uh, Banjo's moveset doesn't look unique enough. <laughs> He's smacking it. Which, I mean, I, I. I. I like having some more normal fighters after. We've had a lot of new ones that are very dependent on gimmicks, yeah. like uh, Joker's meter and things like that. And you know what? Even then, I think Banjo still will have gimmicks, because 
Because it seems like you gotta collect uh, your fucking items in order to use them. What do you mean? Like, there's a limited amount of, like, golden feathers. I think that's just a meter that goes down as you use the move. I don't think that's, uh... I don't think that's like the other meters. You... Zero, you... Zero did a, uh, an analysis video, but I, uh, I haven't watched it. Analysis on The what? hero has his, uh... The menu system. Which looks unique. It, lo it looks like he looks fun, but it's. I'm just saying it's nice to have some characters that you know are just running around and punching stuff too. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice. Just the guy who can, the guy who's uncomplicated. Just uh, yeah, just goes nice and simple. Yeah, simple banjo. Oh god, Doom guy would be nice and simple if he would was he? in the game. It just you shoot him. That, that's there's nothing more simple than that. He'll get a big boot. I don't know. Does he have a big boot in Doom? I think I, I think they gave it. They gave him one. And uh, oh god! Can you imagine if uh, if they gave? Did I we didn't haven't checked if they gave the DLC characters uh, pit lines. Pit lines? Yeah, lines that if you do. Uh, uh, they have a universal DLC one for them. It's like I don't know anything. I'm you waiting for something. Uh, I was listening. I was I was trying to think of what the, what that fucking sound was, and it was this. The, the Palutena just says like I don't have anything for this fighter. Because like, I love to see Pit just like talk about fucking uh, like Doom Slate, right? And he's just, it's just like wow, he kills demons. He seems pretty scary though. No, uh, they got all the recording done at once, and that was. Uh, they just have a, a generic for DLCs. You think they just get like a second round of recording for all of them after I mean, the DLCs are released. Maybe they're done. It could be possible. Just, but... just fucking, just do it. It's such a. You small... got it again for like the people after the fucking. Just do a, it. It's such a small feature of the game, though, that I don't think they will. I, I, I would. I'm missing something, aren't I? You're, yeah, lots of things. God damn it. Okay, that's not anything. Is there not, like, a door to send them in? Uh... Ne negative. There's something on the other side. I, 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 but I was hesitant to jump over there until I, like, know for sure. So that's where they land. I mean, that, there's a door there, so obviously that's going to open somehow. Alright, you... Presumably from the other side to get the guys through. Enter. Am I missing anybody else over here? Oh, okay. I get it now. Anything up here? Cool, guys. Don't look at explosions. <laughs> so, this is how I get back there. You know, if I if I really fuck up, but I don't think I'll need to. All right, you guys, you guys are with me. So, uh, wait, hold on. No, it's always a, a risk because then I, I worry that they dally too long and then they get like fucked over by the explosion. Yeah. You think Daleks ever dally? I'm sure. I'm sure the doctor made that joke at once. But I, I can't be sure, like fully. I, I they can't even jump on here, can they? No. There's a door there, so it'll open from the other side somehow. I know. Here's what we'll do. Stay here. I'll. I'll scout ahead. Seems like a good thing to get rid of. There's all these explosives lying around. Yeah. Almost as if they're, like, in the middle of a war or something. They're lying around very damage-proof rooms, too. Uh, you... Seriously? Alright. 
get in the door. Yep, we got six. Why do I need six of them? What, what is the purpose? Very specific combination. <laughs> I am much too big to fit into these <laughs> gaps. What the fuck? Whatever shall I do? Just make it like smaller mesh. You, what are you doing? That should be a thing where it's like, oh well, only Look I can. Around before you go out there, because that's the way to go. There's a thing out there. All right. A cutscene. Yeah. Some form of. Intergalactic entertainment. I got a sweet helmet. I don't really see much. Is there like another room or something? What's uh, in there? To the right. This is where you came was, from. Oh. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Just you, you get just curious. a gateway to an empty room. Yeah. You're right, maybe something was supposed to be there. I'm, I, I'm doing the Majora's Mask highlights, and where there, there are points where you're talking about, like, you know what, I appreciate these no-purpose rooms. It's good world-building. <laughs> Did you disagree with me or disagree no. with me at the time? No, you know, I agree with you. Yeah, it just... Maybe that was, like, the prison. These magna boots oh. are device designed Oh, okay, we needed those. We need to get the magna boots to get the oxygen mask so we can go... Back to where we were. I guess is the flow of of this game so far. Here, I got the magna boots. You think that's an? Oh, you got you got yeah, yourself you an ice cream bar. Can you go across that? Uh... Oh, there is more. Yeah. I guess though. So. I guess maybe here we'll also get the uh, the other thing. Wow, this map is huge. Hello, once. Well, sorry. That's not what I wanted. So that just goes back down to the ship, and then I guess there's more path this way. Is that, uh. Oh, that's ground. I thought. For a second, I thought that was, uh. Goo. Yeah. Looked like. Looked like something that would kill me instantly. But if that's the case, what's over here this way? That just goes back, back down to the ship. Oh, that's just a sheer drop, huh? Alright. Head doesn't exist, so. Okay, you're following me. That's good. Oh no! You like bombs? Everything on this planet is dead, but we still got the arms just like uh, throwing out bombs at nothing in particular at all times. We've hit 12 houses, 37 military installations. Good work today. They get the guy, uh, like to like come in uh, flamboyantly to fire the cannon. He wants to, the kid wants to be the one to fire the cannon. Yeah, despite him not really being old enough to know what firing a cannon actually means. That 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 one was was pretty weird. Yeah, it was. The uh, Katsuhiro Ultimo's memories. The cannon fodder. That was a game, Cannon Fodder. Was it? Yeah. It was, uh... Like, all your soldiers were named, and every time they would die, they would go up on, like, a hill with, like, a graveyard. Yeah. And you could actually run out of soldiers that would volunteer. That's how you would lose the game. I always tried to make sure that every time I played, I none of my soldiers would die. So the Fire Emblem method. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I don't think we lost anybody. I still need you. Oh, cool. Hey, hey, what? Is it, is it time for a maze already? Gotta love mazes. Good old maze land. Uh, if only they were equipped with jump legs. Do I need to bring fucking, like, Ratchet in? No. No. 
Well, Ratchet can't command the box, so this is a clank route. Makes it follow that very specific route. There's like uh, invisible copper on the ground or li something. Live wire, maybe. You know, robots can't see electrical wire. <laughs> uh, you got six. this part yeah honestly god this this one this one I don't think I've done I'm sure we did it last time we played it was a long time ago all right now we're over the uh, vat of a girl. Uh, something that's just uh... this is all the shit that comes out of the reactors yeah that uh, once they've gone for a long period of time, they've combined their toxic waste system with their sewer system. That's that. <laughs> yeah, you just throw the. Sh I mean, it's already contaminated. Can't contaminate it worse, right? <laughs> and then suddenly, and then suddenly, the the bacteria mutate. I got, I got killed. You try to go fight it yourself. Yeah, that's what the help is for. Good, here you go. Yeah. Ugh. You will. Ms. Robots, you will not move. Confirm command. Command confirmed. Wow, they just tend to ignore the other robots and just go for you. Go get him! Get him! No! You're the one survivor. We need all of them. They, uh, they respawn at these things. Okay, cool. Lot in this little field. Yeah, almost They're as still... if they ran out of ideas for the gimmick. Oh, maybe they just wanted to finish the gimmick with a bang. There's still there. grass here. Can't be that contaminated. <laughs> well, that's just on the inside. On the outside, I'm guessing that's just what the atmosphere looks like. It's just green. Just like the ground. Yeah. The, this isn't grass. This is dirt. Well, then what's that brown stuff? Oh dear. Wait, where are you guys, assholes? Only three of them just decided, oh. Well. How dare you ban your comrades? You. Hijack the turret. I guess so. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to fight those. <laughs> Stealth mode. Bitches. You think Clank could just, like, fly? Mm, well, like I'm... the helipack, without supporting Ratchet, it would be enough lift to just levitate himself. Maybe the motors get tired or something. Oh, the tails method. Yeah. I can't, Sonic. The motors are tired. <laughs> Ooh. 
Hmm. Better not let Ratchet see this one. Is, is it porn? Pokitaru. Alright, Planet Ratchet's... Hawaii. Better not let Ratchet see this one. <laughs> Fucking, this is, yeah, this is gonna help your case, Clank. And now we can go back to the military planet and end the squabbling. Oh, that's right, I can't shop. I got you your boots. Hey, you giving me these or not? They are magnetic. I appear to be stuck to them. Oh. <sighs> See, that wasn't that bad. Oh. Gears, metal filings, dirt. You know what I mean. What is it? I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our emissions. Is it something about Quark? Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and dark pits are full of dark. But here at Joe I Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get... Oh! Warm waters. The benign marine... Two masks. ...view to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe I Resort and leave your world and your <laughs> Fucking <drunk>. hell! <laughs> it wasn't anything bad, I was just saying resort ass. I resort, Pokitaru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits. We can so use fun. the O2 mask. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Aw, yeah, Clank, don't be a dick. Will rust your mouth shut. <laughs> well, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> hey, let's go on a vacation! Bryce. No! Bryce. Bryce. Guess we should finish this off. <clears throat> Bokitaru! Uh, Clank snapped at him. Yeah, it's just I don't want him to see this, because I know how he gets. He'll want to go on a fucking vacation, and we don't... He'll just want to get cool gear. That's all Ratchet's really about, is finding cool stuff. He really should have been a treasure hunter. Yeah. Well, specifically cool weapons is what he likes. <laughs> yeah, a treasure hunter. The Nazis were going to use the Ark of the Covenant to, like, you know... What were they going to use it for? A good question. The, I, <laughs> they, they were just kind of like, hey, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get we'll get the Ark of the Government. Co co the, the, Ark government. Of the government. Ark of the Government. Oh. I got some great bargains for you today. What is that? Visabomb gun? What's that do? I forget. Oh, I remember this one! This is the Devastator, but better! Where's the tank? Oh, I couldn't turn fast enough. <laughs> hey, you want a drone, like, gun? A gun that shoots, uh, drones that explode? There's the, the boat to the city. Yeah, I'm suddenly reminded of, uh... Of that one into the gungeon weapon. Uh, Which one? It's uh, the. Uh, it's the it's the bullet. Oh shit! Did, did that really just fucking happen? Yes, you did walk off the side. Probably wasn't needed in that range. I'm gonna hit him. Did Did you hear something? Now it's been neutered. Oh, you can still run me over. I, I thought one of the bombs hit you. Oh no. What a tragedy. Alright, time to get on the fucking thing again. Someone was talking about, uh, in the Discord. Yeah? Since the Spongebob remake, like, the, I guess they were figuring chances were 
reasonable for a Twin Sanity remake or something. Oh. Namely because uh, the Spongebob game they remade, Battle for Bikini Bottom, similar to Crash Twin Sanity, was a unfinished game, oh, basically. Was it? Like half the, at, at least for Twin Sanity's case, like half the story was chopped off to get, oh, it, out, wow. to get it out faster. Well, that, that, that'll make things confusing. So, uh, that, that's kind of what people have been wondering about if there were, despite that, it's still one of the more popular Crash games. So, if it were remade, the question is, would they keep faithful to that? What the fuck just happened? You walked off again. <laughs> I, I, I thought I could save it, I but... just walked off. <laughs> well, Good thing we don't well, have lives. Well, well, this was the ledge I was looking for. I thought this was down there. Ratchet really doesn't want to be here. Yeah. Fuck this city and fuck Clank. I want to go on a fucking vacation. See more uh, shifting rocks. Like, the question is, do they be faithful to the original because it was still popular, or do they, like, start from scratch and do the game that the original failed to be? Uh, they can go either direction. Both of us uh, sold fairly well recently. Like, uh, like, Spyro and Crash just straight up remakes, but they're just graphical enhancements and gameplay enhancements. That did pretty well. On the other hand, they did Resident Evil Remake 2. The, the one that was uh, that played more like uh, Resident Evil 4, and people also really enjoyed that. Let's take a game you're more familiar with, Mario Sunshine. Uh, they remake it, but uh, do they keep it very faithful, or do they, like, add new plot points to kind of try to tie it all together? Like, I, the original... I, I, it was... It, feel, it felt fairly... fairly complete to me, but I guess if they were to add anything, they'd probably add, like, uh... They, they should probably add, like, some, uh, cutscenes. Something to, like, tie Bowser into the plot before he just appears as yeah. the final boss. Yeah, just... They, he needed that, because he doesn't appear until it's real the sun is here, and then... Well, even guess... then he doesn't appear until you just walk in on him in the bath. I'm on vacation, Mario! What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, hello. What? It's fine. They, they just did, to, like they looked around. They took a circuitous route. Man, your armor just sucks. Not done with you yet. <gasps> Try using the glove. <laughs> Punch out a tank. <laughs> Punch its fucking tank out. So that was the extent of of the 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 guard in this city. They're just those tanks. Just just two tanks. That's it. Oh, use the drone. I missed. All right. No. Wow, tough ship. Yeah, its only weakness is the fueling line. Yeah, it appears we got hit by a small missile. Ah, it's fine. The, the artillery needs to be grade 12 or higher. Now a rhino. Yeah. We're getting new one. Oh, that's right. We could have done that. We could have done the... I still don't know how... I still don't remember how to get on the racetrack without uh, being on your board. You can look it up, right? Yeah, People... I'll just look it up again. Yeah. Yep, your bridge open. Alright. Right. Outer wall. Oh, hello. This Bye. Is, this fucking Moss Isley Speed Sport looking motherfucking place. What are you? 
What a sad existence. She gets shot once. Oh, I'm done. It was it was it was he watching us? Was that the recon bot? <laughs> just watching, and suddenly his last uh, thing it sees is a gun pointed at it, and then just a shot hitting it, and then just static. I remember this. We still got one more part to this level. Oh, that no. goes back to the ship. I also remember what we get here, and it's not amazing. Uh, hey, I know you two. Look, the plumber's back. Very funny. What are you doing here, sir? Maintenance. What else? I help fix this planet's useless air defenses. Well, I think you'd better hurry up. The turret works fine, you little yahoo. It's the locals. They haven't got the skilled manpower to use I'm it. skilled manpower? You? No, I could lose my job. Oh, come on. What's the sense of keeping up a turret if nobody's going to use it? Besides, the Bard chased you off the last planet. Why don't we pay him back? Well... Aren't you not going home about this hero not, thing, Ratchet? Break anything. He just didn't want to do it. I mean, he says that, but he's been gung-ho about it the whole game. He just got pissed off that... I guess he was just pissed off that Quirk betrayed him. Yeah. No, I have been enjoying this. Not at all. Shut up, Clank. This is what you use. Oh, this looks fun! So is there not... I thought there was like a, a cooldown, like an overheating mechanic. I guess not. Are you gonna go down, ship? Uh, missile. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think it hit me. Like, like you said, these things are ridiculously tough. Uh, two. Oh, that's the the red dots on the radar. Yeah. Here, you can t you can take over. Oh, thanks. Much appreciated. Nice circle to shoot. One down! Oh, you got two missiles. Oh, shoot. Hey. The gunships are down! The arrogance thinking we can take these out with a single visit bomb. <laughs> Just hubris. And we have blown up some pretty big shit with missiles flying around in the sky. I guess these are, like, designed to be battleships, though, so they can take a hit. There we go. It's nice that the missiles blow up when you shoot them, and you don't have to, like, flail a few shots. Yeah. That's because these have, like, I, think, I feel like these turrets have limited auto-aiming. There is some, there is some minimal homing. Yeah, it's fine. Wow, this thing's tough as shit! Oh, plumber's not gonna lose his job. Just tell him, I don't know what I did. I, I fixed the turret, and then this little uh, this little vandal came up and started using it. He was a madman. I couldn't stop him. Uh, there we well, go. Well, well, well. Looks like he's good for something after all. Here, take this. A okay. metal detector. It underground bolts. Okay. My grandfather designed it to suck up loose change on any planet in the galaxy. What a cheap old man he was. My wife well, always said he's a healthy hobby. She's proud of the Since weight I lost. Since you metal detector, a bolt it, icon will show up on screen whenever you are near a buried stash of bolts. First gadget with a tutorial. When equipped, the metal detector will give you signals to indicate your proximity to the buried bolts. The detector plate will always indicate the direction to the bolts. Hold down the circle button to activate the device. As you move closer to the bolts, the rings will become redder and the beeping will become faster. Continue holding down the circle button and once you are directly over the bolts, the metal detector will suck them out of the ground. It's not really worth keeping out. I guess it, we could replace the taunter with it. We haven't used that at all, but... Not yet. Not we're sti we still, like, have to do the auto-grinding thing for the Rhino. Yeah. It's just not feasible to do it any other way. This... 
you having fun yet? This looks like this looks like something to distract from a, a journey. Shiny. You know, if this is Ubisoft, they'd be making this like a required thing to record. Yeah. Hundred percent their games. You gotta find up all find all the things that are randomly located on different planets. Oh god, all the things. Different every save file. All right. Uh, are we done with this on this planet? Yeah, that was all we had. All right, so I guess we're going to a uh, Maui island to get the. Uh... We're gonna get the fucking. Uh... Like a, a quick thing back to the ship? No. No. It's fine. Oh, wait. It's nice that these are around. Alright, we're going to Tropical Land. Best not let... <laughs> best not let Ratchet find out about this. I like how that was his fucking uh, response. Not like we have any other coordinates. I mean, we could use the thing that required the pilot's helmet. What? We could do the thing that required the pilot's helmet. Have we gotten to that? Uh, I thought we did. It's like, yeah, you can. Yeah. Bring prize to agent. Oh, that's oh, right. We won the hoverboard thing. Yeah, let's bring. Oh, by the way! Been sitting on this backwater planet doing nothing. For however long it's been now. How long do you think this adventure takes? Is it the scope of, like, a few days? Yeah, probably. <laughs> With space of one afternoon. <laughs> very, the, the Captain Falcon method. One very eventful afternoon. <laughs> I want to get to the bounty hunting, but I'm stuck racing. The funkiest background music. Yeah. Fantastic! You got it! Great work, kid. So... Are you gonna represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I got this. What is it? It's cool helmet. That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. Right, and it's all yours. <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. I'll have my people call your people. Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high caliber tactical assistance. Oh, it summons a drone. Never really used this much. Oh, do I have to manually put the helmet on? It seems like it. So, goodbye pilot's helmet. Yeah, this is the coolest ratchet look. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, the guy, the fat guy's name again? Uh, tech controller. Control freak? Control freak, yeah. Looks like something some control freak would wear. Yeah. <laughs> You wanna come with us, buddy? Let's go on an adventure. I remember not really using this because you had to equip it manually. Hey, it looked still so Christ. dumb. I guess that's part of it, but I mean, if I could just like walk up to one of the, the mouse holes and just press a button, maybe, but I don't think you can do that. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. Some drone, like, assistance would be pretty nice. I remember this planet being a difficulty spike. But it's a tropical planet. 
How bad could it be? But the music in Bramble Scramble is so nice. That ship looks valuable. I actually want to use the... Hey, centipede. Coming for you. What? It... <laughs> well... It's a, It's actually a hologram. Oh. I got some great got bargains. Decoy glove. Oh boy. Meh. Oh, that's a nice one. Mine no, it's not. You're lying to me. Who uses the fucking mind glove? We're passing so close by. Try shooting him with a blaster first. Be close enough. Here they come! Yeah, it doesn't exist. What? It does exist! I don't think your artillery is strong enough. I could swear you could blow those up. I guess not. Did Maybe it's just the head that's not targetable? Hmm. Alright. Scenic sewer. A sewer level in a tropical pl- Man, I love visiting foreign sewers. It's always such a magical experience. All the shit's different met in foreign sewers. Ratchet, you are weird. Let's go dive and clank! It's water! Literally, when they said sewers, it was a it was like, you know, like actually a water park. You had to uh, go to a water park called the sewers? No. Hey, what kind of a water park is this? It's the only sewage park in the country, and you'll only find it here in Jersey. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking Jersey. Is it Atlantic City in New Jersey? Georgia. Oh. I just ran over a stop sign. I was just trying to get to Atlantic City. You know that uh, behind the GIFs comic? Yeah. Uh, they did. They did one with uh, like the Pope, and they did. The, they gave the Pope like a stereotypical Italian talk. <laughs> and for whatever reason, he was talking to God, and God had a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> so confirmed, the Pope is Italian Mario, and God is Brooklyn Mario. <laughs> <laughs> what was the gift for that backstory? Uh, it was, uh, like, the Pope pulling a tablecloth or something. Oh. You need to... You, you gotta... <laughs> you gotta perform a miracle. You gotta perform a miracle. Then the people believe in you again. Uh, but I do want to deceive them. Uh, it just feels so wrong. I, I, po I posted it on the Discord. Got a brief put the water the water in air quotes. Gotta put the water in the quote unquote water. Maybe this maybe is, this is almost like Crash Bandicoot's sewer music with the drums. It is, yeah. Uh, instrument tracks one underwater, of course. So wait, who did Ratchet and Clank? What the music? The, the, yeah, the the people behind Insomniac, them. Spyro. Oh, uh, they didn't, Spyro didn't have crates. It was no. mostly like bear breaking bases and shit. I wonder why they they switched to crate, the crates for this game. Oh. I guess barrels didn't seem to make thematic sense for some reason. Barrels aren't high tech enough. Crates are, crates are fucking perfect. They're more stackable. Yeah, I guess they wanted to be able to stack them. <laughs> Stop. 
keep shooting. Fuck it. You are missing everything. Yeah. There's not an effective tactic. Hell, I, I guess, uh, I guess we'll give it to Mike Tyson with brass knucks then as Helen Keller with a machine gun. It just be not a fair fight. Just her, just spinning around, trying to hit Mike Tyson. Would she know that she was in a fight? I'm sure she would. I'm sure. Would someone that, that, tell her? Listen, how? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> combat, Helen! Combat! Gotta unlock the thing. Did you know that Helen Keller, like, grew up to be, like, a massive socialist? Oh, did she? Yeah, she, uh, she later on, they don't really mention this a whole lot, they just mentioned the story about her learning how to, like, like, talk and, and write, yeah, uh, in her own way, despite being deaf and mute. She, like, later went on to visit, like, uh, like, uh, people in factories and just notice how horrible the fucking working conditions were, so she's like, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to combat this, and I guess nobody really did anything about it because yeah. uh, because she was like the you know the the girl who learned who overcame like dramatic adversity. Yeah. And uh, and so they're just like, well, fuck. Helen Keller. It's a kick. I think Order. there's an annoying Order's... skill point for getting rid of all the TNT underwater in this level. Oh, it'd probably be easier with O2. You're almost out of oxygen, by the way. Yeah. Probably should have gotten the O2 before we went this way. And why didn't you? Because sewers, man. How can you resist? <laughs> you know... The reason why he does a sewer level sewer count in his videos is because he hates sewer levels, right? Well, is that Not because he's a fan of them, he's just like, drink for every sewer level. He's, he hates it, it's an, over, under, it's an overdone trope, and this game has had like, three sewer levels. How can you resist sewer levels? I don't know, I like this. This shit. It had to be Mario. Had to make it popular. Had to star plumbers. Well, to be fair, none of this like the levels that were supposed to take place in sewers. They, I don't think they were like. Act, they didn't look like sewers. No. They were just. You pipes don't that swim in sewers. They were just pipes that led to caves. Also, at this point, this the plumber thing is is vestigial, right? Yeah. It's just like uh, it's like when uh, when the Undertaker stopped being like a, like a creepy mortician and just became the persona known as the Undertaker. Yeah. Something like that. Ow. No. Uh, you want to try a different strategy? No. We're good. Yeah, you, yeah. It's not not just randomly attacking was a good first step. Yeah. Hacking. Yep. Gotta love it. <laughs> I gotta find the right combination. Where's the bag? Oh. 
There you go. There's an elaborate one. I see a little guy. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm searching for a very elusive and secret substance. Reritadium? Um, of course. Maybe. The oceans on this planet are said to be an excellent source of that element. Oh, it's an element. Well, not anymore. Yeah. All that toxic dumping has obscured any trace obscured? of it. Obscured? So it's still you there, you just can't find, find it. Reritadium for me. No, I will not. <laughs> Piece of junk. My latest invention, the Persuader. I intended to use it to control minds, but well, the only thing it's gotten me so far is a discount from Gadgetron vendors. That sounds hey, illegal. I use that. Well, I'll trade <laughs> it for some raritanium. I believe Planet Hoban is a source of that element. Ratner Clank with the know-how. <laughs> yeah, they seem to have gotten over their shit off screen. We just didn't bring it up. They talked it over drinks. So, there's no easy... Thank you, sensors. Obscured it. Tox also, toxic dumping? Who? Th these guys? Is there a way to speed it up using the triggers? I don't think so. No, no. Nothing. God, them some tough ships. We could use one of those. You should find a turret. Or I should. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe we blow them up with a turnip. Tur a turnip. A turnip. We'll blow them up with a turnip later. Yes, has to be the ultra turnip though. No other turnip will work. Over to Jack. Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. No. Had to ruin it. Have I got a deal for you? Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yeah, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 master. He doesn't seem bothered by that. It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said... I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Oh, oh those are the toxic the waste ships. Resort, and you can use our They're ferrying the, <laughs> the <laughs> contaminated <laughs> shit. All right. But you better not try to stiff us. Like, they had to find the, the nicest looking planet to ruin with their shit. Nothing less would do. <laughs> you dump it on the moon! There's not, nothing's going on on the moon yet! Shitting on the moon. This is like the moon can't hit have it live. Why did you dump it there? Not this fucking tropical paradise biome. No, it has to be the fucking moon. Biome. Yeah, biome. That. I remember these things being annoying. Like they have a bigger hitbox than they look like. Yeah, I'm noticing that. You can just toss your wrench at him. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't think of this, but... Uh... Oh. You know, it also works well on him as a suck cannon. Oh, yeah, you're right. Here, I got a flamethrower, though. Let's, let's do it. Let's go, guy! You like escort missions? Eh. Uh, I'm glad people are not doing them or making, or are making fun of them. We gonna have a fish fry? Oh, they take multiple hits with yeah. the flamethrower. Shit. See, look. Then you have brain fish. We. I think it at least a little bit prioritizes the weapon you have out for uh, ammo crates. Alright. Oh, shit. Seriously! <laughs> Back to me. Fuck! Oh, a 
set the suck cannon or anything. The suck cannon. We haven't gotten a lot of use. I guess the walloper could be good with them. Uh, I'll try the suck cannon. For yeah, now. suck cannon, and then you can just shoot the remainder. I, I am here to suck! Love some, love some auto homing enemies. We're here, let's do it. I wish to suck you. You'll suck. You'll suck hard. To you, yes. To him, no. Fucking. Ratchet is such a fucking dick in this. Yeah. I mean, Clank was also a dick that previous, uh, discussion, but, uh... They just don't- can't seem to fucking get over it. No. Oh, that way. You should heal. Hey, come here. Rapid fire! There's a double-barreled shotgun blast. game, I guess. Going for a swim? Oh, no. There we go. Just, uh... Oh, man. You remember, uh, when the Vine Sauce crew, uh, I forget, like, I think it was, uh, Vinny, Rev, and Joel, and they were playing Trouble and Terrorist Town? Uh... Probably didn't see that, but yeah, they, they, it was a it was a while ago. It was back when they, used to, they streamed together sometimes. But Joel was like questioning a bunch of people as to whether or not they were the traitor or not. He's like, now, are you the traitor? No. Are you the traitor? Not this round. Are you the traitor? No, I'm not the traitor. Bam, bam, bam. He's the traitor. Yeah. This is Joel just doing Joel stuff. And Vinny kept on killing Rev after, uh, after he was, in, like, innocent. Well, I was like, I feel bad now. I should get, I should make him some cookies. Yeah. It's like, what would be the, what would be the most condescending, like, uh, apology peace offering? Like, a picture of you? <laughs> what? A picture, like, is it, is it? Is the picture like, of the person apologizing. Is it a picture of them with like a thumbs up and them smiling, or a picture yes. of them looking sad? No, like the thumbs up. <laughs> Cause I was thinking like, just sending somebody a fruits basket for, like, the as anime, an apology. Obviously. What? The anime, obviously. I was like thinking like, uh, there's the movie, uh, in which like a guy got accused of some pretty Hate this shit. But that weren't true, by the way. Yeah. And, like he got like kept on getting the shit kicked out of him at grocery stores. He, his son get got hit by hurt by proxy, and one of the dudes who was his friend was like just constantly like giving him shit uh, about it and just doing that stuff. And then it was revealed that he wasn't like he, he in fact was innocent. And so as a peace officer came by with like a bottle of fancy wine and a turkey, yeah. and it's like. Fuck you, buddy! You you wanna bring me a turkey as an apology? I'll shove your head up its ass! Yeah. Is that how he responded? No. He was just kinda like, eh, whatever. I'm What a convoluted, easy to fall off a bridge. Why's it gotta be zigzagged? No, it was straight, but then the toxic waste came and like oh. fucked up its circuits. Of course. So yeah, that's a... 
is a suck in is effective against these uh whatever they are. Alien puffer fish. Did they reuse this track? Uh I think so. I think we heard this track earlier in the game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe in the city. Except with different instruments. Well, I was in the logging site level. Oh. They stuck it on one particular path of the level for some reason. Like, the music changed for no... for... just because. And it doesn't really do that on any other level. What the fuck is the purpose of, of that cutscene? Dude, why do these pufferfish explode now? Ratchet! Alright, when is Ratchet gonna fucking chill out? He's... Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One story crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> Lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourists. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem? I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob in his robo-chat. He knows about these locks. Bob. You'll need to use the special features of a gadget... Here we go. Hey, much? Bob! Well, well, what have we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that. It's word. okay, they're not people. Yeah, ain't you? Yeah. Ow. He installed the helipack. I can see that. I'm taught that is your brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Al's redneck brother. Block by the fighter garage. Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's what? got a real what? special power. Why, though? Right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. Meh, meh, meh. Three. Oh. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toe to hoppin. A what now? Horny toe to hoppin. Now there you are, little Better than new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> well, well... Will Ratchet ever fucking forgive Clank for the for the for the sin, the the unforgivable sin of trusting a guy who's a known superhero? How dare he? How? How? I mean, it's like those people who like see. Yeah. It's a major over. It's still just a major overreaction on his part. It is. There are a lot of those in this game. All right, fighter pilot stuff. Yeah, Back yeah. to Jack. I'm, I am. I am a good. I am good at the flying and the shooting. How many missiles I got? Oh, I see. So logically, if you destroy like a frontal part, the back part should also get destroyed. But I don't know if this is logical or not. Doesn't seem like it. Do I have more missiles now? No. Nope, the back ones just like uh, move in to fill the gap. I don't see any health, so. I think all health and missiles and things are just in those guys. Oh, they're magnetized, I bet. Oh! They kind of look like the sheet saucers in Spyro. People are starting start, starting to notice that I'm destroying their toxic dump fucking things. How dare you destroy our waste ships? Just, you know, just doing my part, protecting the environment. Hello, Noabe. Abe. Hey, get it! You're out of 
missiles. Still have four left. These guys are. Okay. A lot of missiles. Well, that makes it easier. Have to break off to shoot down. What the fu- What? And the guy just appeared out of nowhere. That waste ship got the drop on me. I used to watch when you stream Awesome Nuts. I, I recognize your name. Awesome Nuts was a long time ago. Yeah. Nothing really to do with uh, any of the developers or anything. We don't really play Awesome Nuts very much anymore. Yeah. I mean, I kind of lost interest in the game and also yeah, the player base dwindled to a point that there's not really many people playing it. Yeah. But no, single player games are dying out. <clears throat> there won't be a market for those. It's all online. All online all the time. I was so disappointed to find out that uh, they did they did a Burnout Paradise remaster and uh, one the main issue I had with the original was that it had no couch co-op and the remaster still does not have couch co-op. Uh, Burnout 3, I think Burnout 3 Takedown was like really fun. Well, I guess yeah. that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. Cool, we got... Look now at, look. we can explore Poison Planet. Yeah. It's awesome. Right. Are we done here? I think we're done in Hawaii. Oh, uh, we gotta get the Raritanium. Which Just... might be on Poison Planet. Okay, cool. All right, is this gonna be the fought the part where they both get over their fucking bullshit? It really does feel forced. Allied, Just good nightmare to you. Just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but oh man, I wish that was a meme. The fucking uh, the Goku, Goku going. Allied good! Nightmare to you! Oh. Alright, now we're... We're headed back to... Works on. Planet shit. <laughs> the sky is shit! The ground is shit! The plans are shit! <laughs> So I see you have a, a script for a movie called Planet Piss. What's the movie about? It's about a planet, and the whole planet is piss! Oh, uh, I, I see. Could you please elaborate? I don't know what- I don't know what more to say about it than that! That's pretty much the whole movie! So, so, how does the movie begin? Uh, murder face, murder face, murder face. I'm trying to get me to improv. <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm not I don't, good I'm, at it. Because he says that, it seems like he just has had a really great idea, but he didn't expand on it. Well, it was an album, not a movie. Oh yeah, that's right. The movie was Blood Ocean. Wait, 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 what? What the fuck would a, uh, would a fucking... <laughs> the sky is pissed, the ground is pissed, the plants are pissed. Planet Piss sounds like a fucking punk album. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at how cool that fucking shit is. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, how are you able to do that? Ow. What's, what's that? How are you able to do that? Uh, du double tap R. Oh wow. So you're in hover mode now. I guess. I cannot go first person in hover mode. Oh no. Can you strafe? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
There you go. Now you're in. Now you're in combat effective mode. Can you use the? No. You, you have to go down on the ground and then use it, and then you go straight up and hovering again. Uh oh. Uh, I should have dealt with him. That uh, does not deal with them immediately. Seventeen shots left. So, so the, the the animals won't wouldn't be able to take those out, right? Is that why? I guess not. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Branching path. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Ow! You say fucking ow? Oh no! I woke them up. lot of missiles on these guys. They're tough sons of bitches. Come on. Oh, you're, they're they're hidden. Damn it. I think that was just a crate anyway. Shot thing. I guess not. <laughs> oh, you're still here. He's tough as fuck. Me and my trusty wrench ring. No, oh, you're still here. Oh no, we gotta chase it. These things are gonna swoop down and attack me, aren't they? Better start shooting. So you can't jump, can you? Nope. I also cannot use my weapons. You sure? I thought you were nope. able to. Nope. I'm pressing circle, I'm swing. pressing triangle. I can, oh, wow. I can use my wrench. <laughs> Fucking birds. Well, darn. You wanna try? Sure. Over to Jack. So, uh, yeah, those guys are tough. I guess if you can avoid waking them, but they take multiple walloper hits, you're gonna get hit using that. working. Or it was. Okay, I'm leaving. One hit death goo. <laughs> I got some great bargains for you today. Can I? I can't, it doesn't even automatically. Oh no, that's not to later games. There's a buy all yeah, ammo button. Blaster. That's a A hundred per? Are you fucking kidding me? This is bomb expensive. There's not even anything, uh, we, do, we just have those two little guys. We don't have, like, m mooks to suck into the can. Oh, the it's a death. Oh, it's strong, it's just expensive. Blast radius too. Yeah. Oh, I don't need to kill that guy. I'm just gonna die immediately. Die! Oh. Hey, guess what? I didn't die immediately. What do you think of that? Fuck. I got cornered by a fucking crab McCrab. Well, 
as long as he's just here. Hey, go down. Down, boy! Here, I say! What? <laughs> yeah, there was that one, uh... A bit low. Yep. Oh, you fell back to sleep. Yeah, it's, it speeds up exponentially quickly. If I can get a good hit with the Visa, Visa Bomb, then it's more cost effective than the Devastator. Yeah. Devastator's good, but it's not Visa Bomb good. How many ammo crates over here? Where, where's the last I think the last time we played it, we were just like ignoring the Visa Bomb gun because fuck right, it, we have the Devastator. Pretty much. And then we, we actually found out that it was really fucking powerful. I mean, it is, but usually you don't really need that much power. You know how bad I can do? Oh, birds! You're already down here. Wait, no, that's the little siren guy. Yeah. Shot him. That's out of range. Too far. Although, I know what you can do. Uh, invisible bomb. Just... For each of them? Yeah. I, I, I mean, maybe. You want me to try this section? Nah. Will Plank ever be forgiven for the sin of just fucking living? You think some latent, like, uh, robot... Ism. Robot. On Ratchet's part. He had a bad experience like, with Robot. Like, he would have forgiven uh, Clank more readily if it was, a, like, he was organic. I, it sounds about right. Hi, Captain Quark, and I'm a hero to everybody. But and yet you didn't see my betrayal coming, huh? What? I, I can't wait for him to just, uh, for whatever happens to him in the sequels. It's gonna be fun. Alright. Don't take off the mask, whatever you do. <laughs> of course it's a skill point. Only rarely is the taunter useful. Do you think they get rid of the torture being able to bust crates and, and like a remaster of this? Uh they they could because of the or they if they fixed the the bug to get onto the racetrack would uh, solve that. Yeah. Then you have to grind manually for the rhino. Oh boy, that would be fun. Said no one ever. I wonder what the speed. Oh man, I, I wonder what the speedrunners do for 100%. How they do the do the rhino? Do you think they have to get? They need to get the rhino. They need to get all weapons as part of that. I would doubt it. I'm gonna get my phone and look it up in a sec. Cause I'm curious now. Shoot, no. It's gonna take two Devastator missiles, which costs as much as one Visibomb anyway. The Visibomb gun is just really good. Uh oh! Oh wow, he, he strafed you! No thanks, I'm gonna go across this small gap. He, he retreated. Ow! What a hostile planet this is indeed. Yeah. Like, hostile. you don't fuck around with the things that can survive on Orkson. Is this 
gonna be the one that oh This is a safe distance for a missile launcher, right? It's fine. It's a smart explosion. It deliberately curves the uh, the explosive force around the person who fired it. Of course. Uh oh. Dangerous. Hey, idiot. Is he immune? We found the, the invulnerable one. He's just not interested. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, no, that worked that time. No! Don't push it. You are almost out of hit points. I am indeed. You... <laughs> that one robot from iRobot who jumped on, like, Will Smith's car and just, like, started jerking at the steering wheel going, You are experiencing a car accident! Yeah? It's just that fucking... I it's, never it's saw that, iRobot. It's, uh... Oh, man. It, 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 you... It was like a. I remember Shia LaBeouf being in it. Where he said that, uh. that a girl was ass hot spankable. And it yeah. was like, the fuck does that even mean? And, and Shia LaBeouf's like, oh, you know what it means. It was his fucking, uh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay, well, I know what to do in this situation. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Is that a fucking drone, fam? <laughs> you hear the sound of the drone creeping up on you. You hear something? We need we need multiple high grade explosives if we want to survive this this world. Still more. Very smart bomb indeed. Nice. Got some visa bomb. No, Get back here. We're still not done. Where'd it go? Are we walking around in a giant battery? It, it would be filled with acid. No? Here we go. What we got? Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Trek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet. One which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. And that's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh oh. Now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet. That's yeah! just me. Me? You bully! Look, I'm still gunning for Quark. If we end up 
taking out Drac too? Hey, fine. What? You do care. Don't push it, pal. <laughs> He's never going to apologize for being a douche, is he? Yeah. Oh, it's the goo again. Some uh, cool geometry up here. I like how it is fine if it's on his skin. He just can't breathe it. No problem. Yeah. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. One of these things could kill me! Yep. You are- you are correct! I'm just trying to find where that, uh, that ratchet ledge was. Further in. You know what would be good for this? The suck cannon, but I don't have that equipped. Hey, you know what? Those, cl those crab things didn't reappear. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Here's where it was. It's a dog. Alright. No, I can't jump off? Well, that would be unsafe. Jump off while it's moving, you can fall and seriously hurt yourself. Now we know! I was picturing when uh, Ned Flanders was like designing that horror house for like uh, a bunch of like the kids. And they're like, it's okay, okay, we'll be good Christians. And then it's like, alright, that's all I needed to hear, diddly o. You'll go straight to heck. <laughs> oh Lord, please help me instill fear into these little children's souls. Heck. What? What? What's heck? Is that, the, the only is that two times I've heard that is Ned Flanders, obviously ironically. And the Powerpuff Girls did that unironically. Because they couldn't have him say, I turned the planet to hell! It is. Heck is like a, a place where people aren't bad enough to go to hell, but not good enough it? to go into purgatory. Yeah. Oh, there's another, uh. There's another route. I, I, I can't go up that ledge. Never mind. So that's just a nothing ledge. There's fuck all there. Alright. Whatever, I guess. So how's, uh. So how's the capitalist hell? Yeah, I get to do whatever I want, but I have to eat a bucket of shit, and it's it's rough, you know. Uh, how about how about you? Oh, uh, it's great in communist hell. Uh, there aren't enough buckets for everybody, and, uh, and not enough shit to go around. Is that a bit from somewhere? It's a it's a joke about how about how communism. Is you know what? You make all the noise you want. You're alone. It's You'll have to live you. with that. It's just you. You will live. You'll be the only one. You will carry that weight. I got some great bargains for you. <sighs> oh, did we get unlocked anything? No. We're just no. upping our visit bomb ammo because it's the best. Yeah, there's another route on this planet. So with, conveniently enough, a health upgrade. Because we could use that. Oh yeah, we finally get those. Oh, there's an air, another ship. That's fine, I'll just hide back here. Not even taking cover. Well, he's too far you, away, I can't- You me! Why did you equip the fucking- Why did you fire that? You know you can aim first, like L1, right? What is that? What's that sound? So, 
Apparently, there's a, a revelation about a Game of Thrones character, right? Yeah. And about how apparently it was written that you were like, th uh, like armor that was three inches thick. Yeah. And one person commented that that that's impossible because uh, because that's thicker than most like aircraft carrier armor. Yeah. I was just like, a three on six round couldn't even get through that. It's just like, that's fitting armor for a person named the Mountain. Yeah, he could carry it. Didn't he have a horse, though? Yeah. Horse couldn't carry it. He would need a camel to carry his fucking girth. Oh, did you, did you hear the, that story? Oh, is there a ledge up there to the left? Yeah. I don't know the camels are necessarily stronger than horses. Apparently, the, like, Americans did, did uh -oh. tests. Uh, is it bomb? No. I'm trying to see if there's anything worth anything up here, and I the Bolts. answer so far is no. Bolts and ammo. It's like visit bomb in the middle of the room. <laughs> Smart bomb. <laughs> Somehow that worked. God, the range on that thing is so generous. So um, Americans did a test. So they were like, apparently they bought a bunch of camels to like ship over to the U.S. and uh, just to attempt to see if uh, if camels would be an effective uh, means of transportation. And yeah. a lot of them were just like, this will never work. They're fucking camels. Look at how goofy they are. And apparently, like, in a lot of tests, they just kicked horses' asses. Yeah. And that despite their uh, ill temper. They were, like, great, like, beasts of burden. Yeah. And the reason why it didn't really matter at the time was because at the, the, towards the, that was towards the end of, like, the animal lifespan, and the train was, uh, was becoming, like, a... Thing. Yeah, so... But yeah, the people who used it, they're like, yeah, camels are fucking awesome, and for a while... Ah, oh, shit. I mean, it's not like they don't have horses in the in the Middle East. They just know better. Yeah, camels are perfect for like going across, across like massive deserts, and also for things besides going across deserts. Mm. Excellent beasts of burden. Also, a fringe benefit is that uh, apparently, like camel hooves are just like naturally really fucking tough. So they don't, they don't require shoes. Yeah. Yeah, you just uh, you just get a camel on a trail, and it'll just keep going. Also, there was a, a so uh, I don't remember who all was involved. I'm sure there were proper names, but uh, apparently one dude decided as like a counter for like uh, for like elephant like troops. Because those existed. Yeah. Because there are those people who just take elephants, train them for war, and just march them on, like, their enemies. And they were fucking elephants, so they were big and scary and shit. Yeah. Except when they got to, like, the camel caravan. Because, you know, camels are perfect for beasts of burden. The, the elephants just kind of didn't know what the fuck was going on, and they just kind of panicked. And so when the guy who was in charge, he noticed this, he's like, I've got an idea. So he trained a, a, a camel cavalry to, like, go and, like, just assault the elephants, yeah. and and th it just completely broke the line, despite the fact that I don't think they actually killed anybody. Just people with spears on camels just just charge a bunch of elephants and winning. Let's do a trick shot. All right. Also, apparently, elephants are just totally just afraid of mice. That myth is true. Yeah. Oh, I can't turn sharp enough. Yes, you have to re-angle your shot. No! The gunship has been destroyed. Who could have done this? Just you, huh? 
blowing shit up with it. Truly, it is the most useful uh, weapon in the arsenal. I pretty much just used nothing but visibombs on the, the final level, I remember. Because it was just that useful. Especially around corners. Yeah. Can you shoot around? <laughs> Like that Robin Hood movie where a guy found a guy who's like, Hey, yeah, I make some really good fucking bows. These bows are really great. And then Robin Hood's like, Yeah, can they shoot around corners? Okay. <laughs> it's just like, If they're so good, can they shoot around corners? Huh? That one just woke up. He didn't take any damage. damage that time. God, there's so many of these guys in this last platform. Just, just blowing them up with, like, ta targeted uh -oh. drone strikes. No place! Good, good job dodging. No place! You got hit. I got tagged. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Shoot around corners. Can it shoot around corners? No. No. That can't. What? What? The it, TV flicker. <laughs> Doesn't even need to reload. It's a very very uh, it, it's all in one, It's all in one clip. Yeah. Theoretically, with a weapon like that, you shouldn't need to reload it because. Uh, you can, or need, there, with a weapon like that, there shouldn't be any recoil. Because it's just the rocket flying out. There's no, like, force of, like, something leaving the barrel. Why did that guy blow up? Good question. You shielded me. Another ship. Another guy gonna come out. Uh, is that... No, it's just a friendly passenger ship. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, he didn't fall into the acid, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't... He... he... At least he didn't uh, get a, a painful death. He just got a quick one. Neck broken by a wrench. Coming back. Wh why though? You. <laughs> Camera? <laughs> no, that's it. You're dead. Goodbye. I, I thought I could get up onto the ship. I mean, <laughs> oh my god, we're so far back. Yeah. Oh yeah! Do you want to try or should I just run it again? Oh yeah, you, 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 yeah, you send me back and give it to me, thanks a lot. I, I'll, I'll run it again if you want me to. It's up to you. You, sh you just did a fucking side hop into oblivion. I did do that. I should uh, not touch you. Yeah, what are you doing?! Uh oh. Not hitting enough. Ah, give it to me! You fucked it! Over to Jack. Still got Blard here, they just got like the cleaner agents hanging out with their flamethrowers. Oh, they're out of range actually. Oh, they'll fly into range. 
Also, your range is a little longer than the green reticle is. Crates didn't respawn. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> no, I, Hi there, fuzzball. I don't want to buy the mind glove. Could be just what you need. For what? Dying? Oh. Wasn't there? We're gonna get the Gadgetron discount thing just in time for there to be nothing left to buy. Yeah, I guess that's the point. Like, it makes your future ammo cheaper. Yeah, and that would be hand pretty handy. Just as you're reaching the point of the game where you actually need to buy ammo. Yeah, for the pretty crazy uh, enemy. Hold on. We still have the strongest enemies in the game yet to come. Yeah, I bet. Not counting, I guess, like the drone helicopters or things, ships. Uh, oh, I missed one. Come at me, motherfucker. Yeah, I got you! Swing randomly. So he's, so where is he? he's just chilling over there, right? Actually, you, you might be able to see. Can you, like, look down? He might be camping, like, just below sight, and then he'll pop up somewhere. I thought he was, like, chilling on the pole. I think it is possible to take him out beforehand, but you gotta know where he's at, and I can't see him yet. I think he's over there. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, he's, he's hiding there. over there. Fuck! Wrong way! Is he... Oh. Uh. Okay, guy! I guess that's out of range. I gotta stop overthinking it. So you, uh, didn't find your glasses? Uh, no, but this is not really a problem. Uh... Oh, what? What, what did I miss, Zelrog? No, nothing. You, you say that if I miss something. Oh, I thought that other one was up. Wait, what? Oh. This wouldn't wake anyone, right? <laughs> Shattering glass? No way. Fucking... Never even knew what happened. Nope. Didn't even know what hit him. It was the humane way. We have... We have no other option. I'm sorry. This was the platform with the large amount of them. Uh-oh. Oh, well, it's a good thing they can't do anything. Yeah. What are you on about? Ah, oh, whatever. Well, 
If only you had a button like a Snake does in Smash to just end the missile's propulsion and drop it. You can hit square to just uh, detonate them manually. Oh, you can? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I've done it multiple times. Looks like you've hit something every time. No, I haven't done it. Uh, I've done it multiple times, not every time. Because I... Are you gonna... Alright, let me demonstrate. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, circle again. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> alright. Yeah, but you, you can detonate the man. I legitimately did not see that guy. Making no comment. What no comment? About what? Zalrog! Go, go on, go through the door. You're almost there. <laughs> What? What? What do you want I, to say? I was trying not to make a Jack is blind joke. <laughs> yeah, you did. You made a stupid. <laughs> oh, whoops. Leave the platform. You're playing it risky. <laughs> yeah. You don't like watching other people play it risky, Zell? Right? For no reason, no. Where's the heal? Oh, did I use it already? Yes, already. you did. the one where you died? Uh, I was past this, and then I tried to jump on the ship to the left. Yeah, I'm sure you can. You just were going... You, I don't know why you tried to do a side flip. It was accidental. I was just trying to do the, the high jump. I, le I legitimately forgot that guy was still there. I think there's another one. I see him. Here's what I do. Yeah, I don't think you can. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Doesn't seem like there's anything up there anyway. Uh, are there enemies over there? I don't see any. Okay. I have healing. I am now twice as strong as I was before. Oh, it's nice in here, I guess. This room is pure. This is a premium nanotech dispenser. You can oh, purchase. purchase can to increase your maximum health. How much is How it? How much? Oh, you can afford that. He just karate chopped that shit. Yep, sure are a teenager. Also carries Ultra Nanotech, the very latest in Gadgetron technology. Ultra Nanotech is three times more potent than premium nanotech. So what is Ultra Nanotech? So another life increase that gives you three more things for probably like I don't know, like thirty thousand or something. Oh. Yeah, thirty thousand. Oh god. For maximum life. Well, uh, we're a bit short on that. Be back later, maybe. <laughs> uh, is that why they had those there? Because they needed, like, footage of him being able to drink without the fucking helmet on? Makes sense, yeah. So we've been here before. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we're done with this level. Yep, that was it. Right, here you go. <laughs> you, you just took that immediately. You're really getting tired of watching me play. No. <laughs> Dude. Oh God, I'm fe I'm feeling stressed. 
He's, I'm watching him do risky maneuvers. It's for no reason. Making me feel uneasy. I risk. I play risky when it's of benefit. I don't stand on a platform trying to wrench shit when there's a safe spot two feet behind me. <laughs> that was fun. It was just like, yeah, let's fight. All right, time to destroy the planet, Buster. <clears throat> also, if you, uh, you can just do a jump like attack and then. Uh, I wonder if a ground pound like that would deal any damage to enemies. I didn't try it. I don't think so. Planet Hoven. I think it's purely a switch thing. Hoven Hagen. Beethoven? Oh, Skatchewan. Welcome to none of it! That must be the ship that will transport the bomb. H to the yeah, Z. Great to work, the detective. Are you guys gonna bitch to the rest of this fucking game? And hold the L2 or R2 button to straight from side to side. Yeah. From side to side. So if we just hit, sh shot that giant missile with a visibomb right now, it would it probably be safe, would, right? It's armored. It's got three inch uh, uh, iron plating. Three inch steel. Oh, we got drones. Just floating. Love of Doom. Oh yeah, those ones. Th those are pretty good when I use them. I want. I, I want to save up for the Ultra Life. Honestly. Yeah. That's just me though. Who needs weapons? Wait. Uh... Oh. Remember this gimmick? It's back! So they had more ideas for it. I guess so. Or they just wanted to use it again. So, you can't really reorient. So logically I should no longer slide. Am I already sliding? A little bit, I think. I think that's just normal with the the hover. Yeah, that you just strafe across the ice. <laughs> okay, that was pretty clever. Uh, not frozen metal. Metal doesn't freeze, of course. Yeah. We never got the uh, faster underwater movement upgrade. I wonder if that's somewhere. Uh, hmm. I don't remember where it is, unfortunately. I think maybe it's on this planet. Oh. Oh, hello. Wow, you're tougher than a, than you looked. Is this where you get the first round of crystals, this planet? Crystals? You know, you collect crystals and get swag. That's not till uh... I think two. Oh. Is when that is. Okay. Uh-oh. Dead! No! Wow! Alright. That was shocking. Hey, you want to do platforming with ice physics? Of course they would tell us about the strafing feature on this level. Yeah, we're... Yeah? That's a shame, buddy. He's attacking the fucking... Ice, uh, factory. It produces all the ice for the ice cream that the little, like, girls and boys eat and enjoy in the summer. That monster. And he's outputting mass quantities of yuck! <laughs> I like how when Phelous was talking about that movie, he's like, what is yuck? Do you sell it? it like, oh. What? 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 
Oh. Oh! That... Well, you can't just... make it too easy by having them just hover everywhere. You know what? You can just disable it. Yeah. There you go. Jump. Okay. Hey, you so logically, you should be able to just hover off the ledge, but no, he needs to be have ground under him. It's for not some that reason. powerful. Is that the fucking? Oh, no. heck. Is there a problem, sir? Y'all wouldn't have any spare parts, would you? Help yourself. These dang rocks are too tough. Keeps breaking my drill. That rock is Weridanium. Let me look at that drill. <laughs> well, shoot my dog and call me Sally. What? Partner? Don't do that. No problem. I suppose I could take that rock off your hands, too. Heck, here you go. I well, got a rock. Well, that was easy. Ratchet, are you done being a prick yet? Help yourself. This is oh no, I can't land on the roof. This is why he's his valet in later games. In the, it's when he's it's karma. Movie star. Yeah, you just fucked yourself out of like a good movie deal, Ratchet. I hope you realize that. There's a... <laughs> It's just the pettiest fucking shit. Just yeah. Stop it, Ratchet. You had the feeling like Ratchet was a bully in high school. Like he was the. <laughs> hey, he's got like a, a lot of pent up bully. Well, he, okay, if he's supposedly the quote last of his kind, unquote, maybe he got bullied a lot in school because he was like yeah different. We'll, we'll get to that. Last of his kind. Last of his kind. Yeah, you make a. They don't make a big deal about it, and I don't know if they should or not. I, I kind of go back and forth on the issue depending on the day. You know what this means, Clank? We get to go back to the sewers. Joy. Open up a theme park called Sewer Land. Then we, hey, look, we got ourselves an endorsement from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tubular. I mean, I will say I don't think the the turtles lived in the sewers because they liked it. I yeah. think they were just there because, well, nobody will fuck with them in the sewers. Is there a quick way back to the guy? Oh, good. Perfect! This is precisely what I need! You will bring me more raritanium. You can't be serious. Oh, well, I tried. Cool. We've unlocked... We've unlocked illegal cheese. price reduction. Is he gonna act different? Is he gonna be like, okay, I'll I think you... he has like an effect on him, maybe? Hi there, Fuzzball. Hello? Oh, it's I not ammo. Only, only weapons are reduced. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's a real beauty. Oh, wait. Does it, it doesn't work on the vendor, too. Shit! Well, fuck! Why, why did we buy weapons before this point? We should have gone on wrench alone. <laughs> Did you mention that? I I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Stealing Quark's fucking spaceship and just back to Jack. This fucking it's not even good drama where they like kind of talk about their feelings. It's just. Shitty drama. You did one thing wrong. I hate you forever. Just fucking kindergarten logic. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, just fucking kill me. Because that's how it feels sometimes, is just be fucking serious. Now take this, make it an anime, give it 167 episodes, and you got Ranma. Yeah. 
Hi there, fuzzball. Probably don't need that for this level. Yes. <laughs> Is there ever a point where Ram is like, okay, Akane, I've had enough of your shit, I'm leaving? Not, he never leaves because of her. Like, he's always talking about wanting to go back to China, get back to that spring. And then, uh, and then Akane's like, no, don't! And then, do I have that pretty much correct? Well, not openly. Of course it's not openly! Grand grandma Grandmama Tsunade, uh, Tsundere. You know, this worked out better in my head. I mean, I said you probably didn't need Visibomb ammo. I didn't say you couldn't use weapons. Yeah, I beat him! It's fucking James Bond music. Yeah. If only you could buy health. Oh well. Health? Health. What? You said I- You thought I said health again? Yeah. You probably should be able to buy health. I mean, obviously it's a product here. It's nanotech. No, you can't. Healthcare is a different thing. You can't just buy healthcare. They don't do that at uh, in later games either. For the wall of burnt corn. It was, uh, there we go. How do I strafe? Uh, L2, R2. Okay. What, what janky controls? It is, it's very odd. That was the big difference in, uh, Deadlocked. Oh, okay, I thought it was, uh... Is that, uh, they, they opted for more FPS style of controls. Or shooter controls. Yeah, let's do let's go guys! Oh wait, hold on. Ratchet, do I run on fuel? I don't know, Clank! Am I going to run out? God, I hope so. Why are you so mean? Because <laughs> As I Jesus said, hey, there was something fishy going on, and you didn't fucking believe me! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh! Master of ground, of air to ground combat. I think, I think I got them all. So that's the way to go. What's up there then? Oh, well, not here. Dang, I keep hitting circle. More of you! They're so, like, infected by their planet, they explode into green goo. They're just, they can't defend, they can't live without the green goo anymore. Uh... What's down here? Good question. I can't. Thanks, camera. Uh oh. I, I guess this was a branching path. All right, cool. Everyone knows drums don't exist underwater. Percussion can't get through. What? Oh. I remember this chamber. You remember that final secret level in Spiral 1? Uh... Nork's loot? It's kind of like that. Oh, shit. Well, then. Also, the water temple also comes to mind. <laughs> the, so the best parts of those levels. I mean, it's a good thing we got the oxygen mask. What's I suppose. Tunnel? What's what? In the tunnel behind you. What, what tunnel? Oh, that tunnel? Yeah. 
I guess they want us to be like at maximum water height. Oh my god! It's so blue! I guess there's nothing in here? I can't fucking see anything! I guess it's just a. Oh no, god, it's so no claustrophobic! Reason. It's a no reason cave. It'd probably be a little less blue without our color tweaks. Yeah. I had a dream that my whole world was blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. Dabba dee, dabba dee, dabba da dabba dee. If I was blue, I would die. And I'm in need of a guy. Da, 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 Hello, Panda. Da, 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 da. You finish your, uh... What is he doing? He's doing Let's Go Pikachu. Let's Go Pikachu. How far did you, did you start from uh, the beginning? Where the fuck am I going? Up there? Up there. I'm going up there now. What? Okay. You don't get the height you do, you do from the helicopter one with the with the jet though. Yeah. Yeah. Draining. The that draining sound, man. Oh, it's just sucking it from like in a in a tube. It's not getting it from the level itself. Yeah. Find the second one, and I think it's uh, over here. But where's this pipe go? It's just a narrow chunk of rock. Uh, wet, dry world. Just thinking of rising and falling water levels. Yeah. You gotta. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I got distracted. This fucking soundtrack, too. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not especially memorable. It's kind of like a movie soundtrack in game form. Yeah. It's like a Pixar movie in particular. Yeah, I can hear it. This looks like the exit. Is there anything else in the room? The big room? Yeah. Big bop room. Big bopper. Big bop. Big boom. Big. I guess that's it. Big bop. I remember this music because this, this and at least one other track, Road Rocket used in like a, an RPG Maker game. Oh really? Because we were kids and we made those. Oh man, I, I'm not a kid and I want to make one. There was a one a, a person made. Uh, it was about baseball. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's called the Closer. And and. Uh, Apparently, hentai is a plot point. Those w those would be the only RPG Maker games you know. What? <laughs> the only ones you talk about. But the weird ones? The hentai ones. <laughs> I still have uh, Melty's Quest uh, wish list on Steam. I gotta download that and check out what that's all about. Yeah. Apparently, people are like raving about it, not just the sex. It's uh, apparently like a. Decent little game, despite the, or because of, or. Oh what? The fuck you guys come Solid from? Solid reaction times. What me? Yeah. Hold on. How do I? There we go. Yeah. We've probably yeah. talked about this before, but uh, do you have an opinion on the on the Pokemon things, Panda? Or just the general status of uh, Sword Shield? What is the point of this conveyance system? Uh, it's currently on pause mode, but they can't actually fully stop it, so they uh, so they did that as kind of a compromise. 
And they said, ah, we'll fix it later. And they never did. It's on the prince. On the limit of, uh, not every Pokemon being in the game. That's the main thing people are talking about at the moment. It's getting a lot of backlash. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be forgivable. The game... It sucks, but my bigger issue is the game needs real polish. How so? I missed. Oh, I'll stop that far back. Alright. There you go. Oh. Like, what do you think is really uh, lacking from it, uh, from what you've seen thus far? I'm also, di aside from that, the not all Pokemon thing, I'm disappointed at how much it looks like they're taking from Pokemon Go. <laughs> Like it, I get it could be worse, but kind of exactly the thing people were fearing would happen with uh, Let's Go Pikachu is happening. They're kind of throwing the the regular fans under the bus to try to appeal to the the casual, you know, yeah, Pokemon Go fans. Yeah, that's where the money's at, bro. It's it's the Wii all over again. Still making games for the Wii. Well, at least one. So you're I'll saying that this is uh, the Skyrim of uh, the Pokemon series? Did that, like, uh, were Oblivion fan diehards pissed off about Skyrim or well, something? Well, Morrowind diehards were pissed off about Oblivion, and then, it was, uh, like, oversimplifying, right, to yeah, them? Yeah, there is. There's a lot of stuff you can do in Morrowind that you can't do in later games, like, uh, flying. Like, being able to levitate. That was a big thing you could do that you couldn't do in other games. And, yeah. Well, we wouldn't we wouldn't want it to be too open world. Yeah, actually, levitating was a uh, was the only way that you could get through like the uh, Televani towers because they 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 all they were all mages, so they don't need stairs. Yeah. They can just fly everywhere. You think that would be the case in more games involving magic? Uh, like, why why did Ganondorf's tower have stairs? Maybe in case he has guests. I guess? He, like, he wants people to come grovel at his feet. They need to be able to do that. Like the Tovani in the, in Morrowind, they, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty reclusive, I think. Yeah. There was like one dude who apparently used the power of necromancy to be able to keep himself talking for what, what felt like to the player character for forever. Yeah. And you're like trying to wait it out, but then the, it's like, indeed, yes! Through his magical power, it seems that he will never be able to shut up and you have to interrupt him. But at that point, he's like, oh, well, thank you for listening to me anyway here. I'll give you my support to overthrow the government. So, or whatever uh, the fuck was going on in that game. So you're ready for the last of his kind? Hey, buddy, what's shaking? Oh, my goodness. I guess maybe she's not a Lombax. I just always thought she was. For no, she doesn't have the ears. <laughs> yeah, the ears are... Actually, um, I'm a little robot. You're funny, too. Yeah, works on everything. Yeah. You be nice. Thank you. I think I got something special for you. How would you like a hydro pack upgrade? Oh, swim faster. That would be quite helpful for swimming underwater. Whatever. Stop! There you go, sweet. Ratchet, I said, er, so I said you were awesome. a dick. You're graduating into becoming a cunt. My personship is excellent. If you two are through... Jealous? You come back and see me any old time. Yeehaw! Your hydro pack will automatically equip when you. So we need this for the like gold, some golden bolts. Uh, some golden bolts, yeah. That's it. That's. Speaking of which, I'll uh. Well, no, I don't want to. I don't want to go all the way back to the ship because we're already part way through the level now. Yeah, let's just finish this. Back to the ship. That was the wrong thing to do. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, kill them all. Wrench Kata! This is him pissed off after 
Oh, you earned a skill point! Was it because I only used the wrench? Or just because I killed all of them? Could be either one. I studied the blade, Clank! This doesn't look conspicuous. Uh-oh! Damn it. Well, that was easy. Only Ratchet and Clank game I played is the one on PS4. The movie game? Was there more than one on the PS4? I think there was. I uh, played the first four on PS2, and then they started... I don't know if it's a reboot. They kind of changed the style with the Ratchet and Clank Future series on the PS3. I haven't played any of those, but I haven't heard bad things about them. Ow! Assholes! Yeah, this is one of my favorite series, though. Yeah, it's pretty I know good. Jack, Jack is also a big fan of it. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's like, it controls really well. It's a, I feel like it's a better series than Spyro, at the very least. Yeah. You, you just, he died. This is one of the very few series that we're both really big fans of. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to go get it's like the, that, that gold bolt. It's Mario, result. it's, uh, I guess Sonic. I don't know that I can call myself a big Mario fan or not, even, because... I'm not blown away by Galaxy, and, uh, you know, before that, the only other 3D game I played was, uh, 64. So we'll, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Where, how am I, how am I getting over there? Uh, you're going to the right from where you're standing. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. It kind of, it, it was triangle for mo for a lot of PS1 games to exit, and on to this one, and then at some point in the PS2's life, it, kind of switched to a circle people started using. I got... I s Why? You're playing a very dangerous game here. Uh-oh. Fuck! Uh -oh. oh, no! Okay, so there's a finite number of those that come out of each hole, I think. Oh, God. That hole seems done. Maybe get out your blaster in case another hole opens up. Oh, and there's a copter. I feel like we stumbled on to, like... Oh god, it, it's tracking me! I missed. Yeah, if you get a hold of uh, any of the games, I'd highly recommend the Ratchet Clank series, Panda. Got him. I think they have a PS3 or PS4 collection or something of the original few. So this is the... So we're just fighting through. Okay. Well, they're just little dudes with guns with, uh, like, pistol blasters, but there's just so many of them. God damn it! Back to me. Yeah. <laughs> What's a good weapon? You know what we haven't had out? Uh, a good old flamethrower. Flamethrower you think would be better? Maybe. Well, we'll find out. Edwina. I like how she gave you the hydro shit for free. Yeah, well she liked the little robot fella. There you go. I'd also try the walloper, just because it was it, it would one-shot them where the wrench doesn't. Yeah, I'm sure the walloper would be a better option. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I need something to I need something to just take out these guys immediately. Aim. Uh oh! Well, that was not the weapon to use for that. No, oh, just one. <laughs> Helicopter just walks right into a missile, and you're, it's just like the worst day ever. Probably already bad day if the helicopter's resorting to walking. <laughs> Lazily fly over. I 
Uh oh. Uh oh. No scope. I thought you said no. You're about to say no skill for a second. Did you just no scope with the rocket launcher? Yeah. Mr. Helicopter? I know you're out here. Alright. That wasn't you. They just hit the platform! We don't know why! Ow! They're out. Oh! You, you were distracted by the helicopters! You didn't see the mines! I did not. Okay, I guess it's not out here. Just flew on by. Did its business. Over here. I see it. It's fine. You, you don't need to fight them. They've learned their lesson. Wait, suck cannon for the mines. Uh, maybe. Maybe I can take them up. Uh oh. This whole episode is basically. Just the whole stretch between when uh, when Quark betrays them to when they get, eventually get over it is just one big long like uh, rendition uh, of the Twitch video. I can't believe you've done that. Are they invisible? Uh, Sandy, or, no, Sandy, Panda. What were you saying about uh, people like clipping in and out? She was saying something about that in Pokemon. Oh, I've never seen that happen before. Attack. What was that? Now they're all coming. Uh oh. Uh, stop, please. It's fine. The helicopters are. Somebody shoot. Yup, those are shots. Okay. You can buy a rich in like later games, right? You have the option to upgrade it. Yeah. Yeah. Or you at least you you find upgrades over the course of the game. Can you imagine this game, but uh, alien hominid rules. You only get one hit. <laughs> oh God, that would, that would be rough. It would be possible, it be but it'd be a lot harder. Hang on, there's an old defense turret over there. Wait, what? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. Why? Now, Clank, why are you being a dick? Why are you being a dick to him this entire time? Like... He was doing that. So, are you gonna use the turret, or are you gonna fire manually? Oh, that helicopter was there. Oh, no! You, why did you go on? The turret was over there! I didn't know that was a, a mine thing. What'd you think it was? I don't know. A candy dispenser. I was going to investigate. I was seeing what it was. Guess the helicopter's still gone. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right. Let's see. No. Nope. Oh no. Well, it was a good idea, in theory. Mono henchman, just like, oh, why'd you put on the seatbelt? I don't know. What? They're shooting at you now. You will shoot back. So. Uh, 
not the most accurate turrets. I think you're work you're finishing it off. I'm trying to get rid of the ship's turrets, but they're still firing at me. I guess being on fire doesn't mean they're out of commission yet. Yeah, they're incredibly tough. Hit, please! Over to Jack. I was just trying to speed through it and finish it before the helicopters did me. Oh, he's shoot they're, they're shooting preemptively. They can't do that. It's too early. In theory, wouldn't it be better to take out one section at a time so you yeah. get rid of a turret? Yeah, you're right. they would run out of helicopters. No, it's they're fine. They've got like thousands of them. Can we just fucking... Thank you. I kind of feel sorry for these guys. They're just working for Drek. They're trying they to make a living. Their planet's ruined. They were, uh... I am reminded of that scene in Clerks where uh, they were like talking about how, well, you know, they just hired a bunch of contractors to finish the second Death Star. That's not fair to them. They, were, they had families. Like the first one, it was fully finished. So can you destroy it? Then all the bad guys are dead. Oh, fucking hell, this is tight. Yeah. Then the second one was just a bunch of dudes who weren't necessarily, you know, working for the Empire. Yeah, directly. And then this other guy was like, yeah, no, that's bullshit. I worked, uh, I, I had this contractor, a friend of mine, who was, who was like, working for, a, for like, a boss, like, like, who was a criminal. And, uh, and I, I, I constantly told him, like, no, you don't take the job. And then, and then he did anyway, and, uh, and then he ended up getting murdered. And it's like, he, he knew what he was getting in bed with. Yeah. I thought that was a very interesting aggression. Folks is a... Corpse is a very uh, interesting movie, just from just how no nothing happens. And I realize that's that's the kind of job I want. I want a job where I don't have to do jack and shit, yeah. except for I want the I, I can do the boring jobs really well because because I I, cause I, can, I have a high I, tolerance for boredom. Yeah, I have a high tolerance for for boredom, but uh, yeah. Fast-paced jobs are fine. Anything that involves uh, putting my back on the line, no. Oh, they need, they have a, they need a second to get in position. Okay. This is it's impressive that the thing's still like a float and holding the missile. That's uh, that's Drek Tech. it blows up. That's fine. It has to be engaged in a certain way. Oh. What's up? You were conveniently under there. Men, you are about to embark on a very dangerous mission. We will be launching a heavily armed surprise attack from our new moon base against a completely unarmed planet. 
Actually, that doesn't sound too dangerous. <clears throat> Nevertheless, your orders are simple. Destroy anything that moves. Steal the power generators from Gorda City. Then, destroy anything that doesn't move. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have fun. We must get to the moon base and stop Drek. No, we have to get to the moon base to find Quark. If Drek is there, Quark is probably with him. But Drek is going to destroy that city. We must get to the base. That's what I said. No, that is what I said. Fine. 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 Yep. So the, I guess we stopped the bomb. He's just doing other shit unrelated to the planet he was about to blow up. Yeah, well, he's got like 50 backup plans, I guess. Oh, we can just hover back. Are we there. done here? We're done with the bomb Wait. factory. What time is it? Uh, three oh three ten. Oh wow, we've been going a while. Are, we gotta, we gotta be done with this petty bullshit someday, right? I want to say it's the next planet that gets resolved. You said that five planets ago. Yeah, I did. The, the. Get base. Sit Gibdo base. Citrus orbit. The Gibdo base. The sit we're going we're going to citrus orbit. Uh incidentally, this is where the gold weapons are hanging out. Oh sweet. Or a, a group of them. I think there are two locations for them. Assignment. Oh ah, a photo up by your shiny new shuttle. Terrific idea. It's really are an idiot. What? You are to take that shuttle to the moon base and ambush those two miscreants when they arrive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who are they again? <sighs> those two! What? Oh, of course. They're notorious. <laughs> there is just one problem. I'm, uh... Too washed up for ground combat? True. That is why I will be loading you my starfighter. You can still fly, can't you? It's settled then. You will acquire the Starfighter once you get to the moon. Screw this up, and the endorsement deal is off! <gasps> but that would ruin me! You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Why, why his eyes gotta be so blue? <laughs> what the fuck? The problems of being swole. <laughs> I'm too... See, my problem is that I'm too swole. What was the name of the nanomachine sun guy? Uh, that would be Anderson. Anderson. Just picturing him driving like a little, like a, like a smart car. <laughs> I guess that was... They did that with Mr. Incredible. I think he had a little car. <laughs> Big guy, tiny car. I did not see direct ship. We must have missed him. Ah, who knows where Quark is now? If we're gonna kill yeah, you just need kids, oxygen. Need Depressurization space. doesn't mean shit in space. It's we fine. Need. Well, we're here. Let's go check it out. There's gravity. Yeah, it's fine. It's I. Okay, are you guys cool with each other yet? I didn't press ball. Is, is that the sound of the, the hypnosis activating? Maybe. Uh, should so we, should the only thing we would want to get left... Don't, don't buy ammo. We'll, okay, we'll find that's it. A real beauty. The only device. thing we would want to get left is the drone, so we either get that or we save for the max health, I guess. That's I guess we'll save for the max health. We, pr we probably need it. Yeah. Alright. Oh. That wasn't a... Oh, okay. No, it's not a lethal drop. Into the depths of space. As the gravity system pulls you down into space... Somehow. There's a black hole down there. Obviously. Too oh. bad! Oh, I'm liking this track. Oh, the only thing strong enough is just... Explo High-end explosive. Oh, uh, good old one-hit enemies. I missed you. God, I'm, I'm glad you guys are back. What am I shooting at? Uh, I don't think we can hit anything yet. Going through the level It's far. just telling me, hey, make sure you got your explosives ready. Oh, these things? These towers? Yeah, these ones. Cool. I don't need to waste 
waste precious uh, Visibomb ammo on him. Of course, the only choice for guards. Robot dinosaurs. They're... They won't expect them! Such good shit! It's right. so you not nothing. Wrestling wrestling memes. Robot dinosaurs trick? Mm, yes. <laughs> what are di even dinosaurs? At least you know what? At least nobody's uh, saying, yeah, we'll go the way of the dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh god, it's so much fun to blow shit up. Ah, oh, it's a turret. Alright. Hold on. Ah. Very, very, very nice of them to, uh, put walls near their turrets for cover. It's definitely something you want when you're being besieged. Yeah. <laughs> Well, otherwise... Are you sure we put, should have put these turrets on the west wall where there's plenty of rocks for the enemy to take cover behind? Yeah, it's fine. What are they gonna do, shoot back? <laughs> Alright. Uh, seriously, though, where am I going? There's Up the there. Door. What the... No, that... It... This door? Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it now. Upright. right. I haven't done these in a while, so I'll have to... Good old puzzles. Wait. Oh, that worked. Okay. I was just kind of... I was just kind of winging it. What? Oh, is it too far for you, buddy? That's the a shame. Can't aim up. That's a that's a real shame. Now will not hit him through the turret. It will not. He's like go up the stairs and around his backside. Trying to be fancy. Yeah. Enrage. Why did we put stairs next to the turret? Stairs leading to the behind of the turret! Look at this view, though! It's a good view. Hi! How did I get him the first time? With the rocket. I don't know. I like how Quark, how uh, Ratchet's is on this complete and total revenge quest against Quark. Yeah. A guy who... Probably isn't worth a revenge quest against. <laughs> really? You want... Quark. You're doing all this to, to get revenge on Quark. If it were me, I wouldn't admit that, like, he accomplished That's... anything against me. I, would, I wouldn't admit he bested me. I just, like... Wait a minute, you want to go to Earth to get revenge on Krillin? Are you sure we want that? Ah! Are we sure you want that getting out? That he's worthy of our blacklist? Yes. He cut off my tail, Daddy! Oh, oh, oh. Well, I suppose that's something. <laughs> Can we say we're going to kill the Saiyans, though? I don't know, can you? I really gotta use the restroom and pass it over to you. Give me a moment. Yeah. Let me know if uh, they made up yet. Okay. Ooh, explosives. Hey, no. Fuck off. Go away. I have no food for you.
I guess we don't get the, uh, the rocket boost, the Pegasus boost boots kind of feature until, uh, game two. I was mistaken. Okay, so those are gonna be worth a visit bomb. Still haven't gotten the, uh, the wrench breaks boxes thing. Is that not till game two, maybe? I thought it was in this one. wrench is nigh indestructible. You can't get blown up or damaged. It's a good wrench. water. Damn it. Water, that's not water. Jack, guess where we're back at? You like sewers? There's a sewer in a space station? I guess that makes sense. But why is it so big? Oh, now, now we're in like a magma generator or something. Uh, is that where they turn the shit into like waste? That's where into they throw fuel. it. Yeah, this is, this is the methane tank. Not a gas. Yeah. Yeah, they look. It's liquid methane. Kept at a superheated it's, uh, state. It's cow farts. Yeah, you got him. Oh. 
You're blowing. You're blowing up the methane, man. I'm sure that's not harmful to the environment of this space station. <laughs> <laughs> so many docks. Oh god, the space station smells like shit! I'm gonna start a chain reaction and blow up this entire mass of sewage. Hello? No, you don't, you don't blow it up, you jump on it. You jump? It's all wrong. What are you doing? Oh! The blaster yeah. didn't it wasn't long enough. I guess not. Some like uh, planes or some shit. And then an arena? I know there's an arena on this level. Is that where Quark fights you? Or any arena. I, I guess the. The rocket booster, the Pegasus boots kind of feature, isn't it until game two. I thought it was in this one. Oh, uh, well, they expanded a lot in two because guess what? Uh, Ratchet and Clank 2 is a better sequel. Yeah. It's a better game than. I got some it's, a it's a good sequel. Remember when those existed? Yeah. I mean, they still do, but. But why? Why can't you go up there? Why? Yeah. Maybe because there's. It's clearly just a ledge that is flat. And there's nothing hazardous up there. It appears as though there's a force field there that'll prevent people from falling out into space because we only built the gravity for the walkable areas, jackass! Uh. Uh. I mean, theoretically, you could just walk under there. Under the force field? Yeah, look at that. No, it's much too tall. What? Fuck it. This is the second time this shit happened! Guessing that's what this platform is for, so we can get a vantage point of the tower. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Can you hit it with the Devastator? What a conveniently placed hole! Perfectly exposing the force field's weakness. Why do we need a fucking window on a space station? There's kind of a design flaw here. It's nothing big, you know, it's just you know, if, you, if you fire a shot into the exhaust port, it blows up the Death Star. I think they're, I think the thing is, is that in Star Trek, there are windows with like some kind of weird hyperglass type thing. Yeah. Uh, and then there are, uh, and then if there is like a hole, there's like a force field that prevents like people from going out it yeah I think that's how that works because I remember that uh, during uh first con Star Trek first contact like the ship was like engaged with the Borg and then like an engineer from the past who was working on the, the sh like a ship was like was like well, just give me back to my fucking planet and then or no just give me back home and then he just uh like opens up a door, right, and he shows the her the planet up down there. She's he's like, well, Colorado should be up uh, shortly, so you, you can jump, but you better hold your breath. It's a long way down. Yeah. And Pic Picard was coming off as like a crazy person that entire movie. Another way, no. Hey, buddy. There's a man in a turret. What's the view like out here? Yeah, that's pretty good. Man, life's rough. Can okay. Go out for a beer sometime. No. You look busy. All right, I'm leaving. Fucking somewhere street. Let me fix that for you. What? Oh, wait. Wait, where's he shooting? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get you! 
Can I man the turret? I cannot man the turret. Because no, if you destroy him, the turret goes away. Yeah. I'm I... right here, you gonna do something about it? Hey. Smart bomb. Ow! Fuck. Oh, the things blew up and that damaged me. <laughs> that was so funny. Just... Alright. Oh, wow, that would have been incredibly rough if you were to traverse that area without taking them out before. Good thing if I weren't did. a master hacker. Because as we know, the hacking minigames are an accurate reflection of real life hacking. Yes. I love that there's friendly fire in this game. Yeah. More games, hey. More games uh, should have enemy friendly fire. Hey, cool health. Uh oh! Oh shit! It's a good thing they can't match the speed of a of a bipedal walking. A <laughs> bi of a bipedal. A biped walking. All right. Maybe Remember, if you hit circle, you can just detonate it. There you go. Oh, we got one of them. I know they two take two Devastator shots, so it doesn't matter anyway. You just retreat behind a wall and then suddenly drones are coming out for you. Well, looks like we got rid of them. Uh, what's that? What's th <laughs> Is I this love the it. hole I fire into to destroy the Death Star? Well, <laughs> not quite, but... That'll do. What was that? The... Some just dude at a turret. <laughs> you have your station has some vulnerabilities. No, what if they need to get oxygen or like fresh air? Oh, uh, turrets don't need turret keepers don't need oxygen. But they had to put that in there because the last turret keepers they put just fucking they just died instantly. Or they died after a while. They just. And they thought it was a ghost for like a good five days before an engineer figured out that they needed air to breathe. What a wacky oversight. You know why people put air oxygen masks in planes, right? So you can breathe? Oxygen gets you high. I like the, uh, I like the plasma group. It wasn't strong, but it was just a, a big all-over melee weapon. Yeah, I, I can't wait for that to come back. It was useful in arenas for taking out, uh, small one-hit mobs. Oh. Here we go. You got one life left. I do. That's, uh... The I did, star. I know. I'm gonna turn it around. Come on, friendly That's fire. Help! Yeah, there's that friendly fire. I think they lost the first Oh, no, here they come still. Oh god, there's so many robot dinosaurs. Ow. Okay, I think that's all. Just kill them now. You know what I haven't used in a while? The flamethrower. Are you gonna use the... Oh, the... Get him, boys! Look back! Well, you always look back. How's it going, Clank? I can't see. There are two remaining. All right, one more throw. Wow, good prediction, Clank. Well, that was effective. Just dropped it. Is that what the mine launcher is supposed to be? Just like a kiting weapon? I guess. Sure. to the right. 
right of you. I kind of know. Bolts all over the floor. Man, it'd be great if I could just, like, zoom around the room and get these, but... Nope, not yet. You need every single fucking bolt. Every single one of them. I will grind them later. I guess I could uh, leave that running tonight. <laughs> I'm back in the next morning with like a million. Isn't that how many it takes for the rhino? It's like, you know, it's 150,000. Yeah. In later games, it's like a million. Because there are bolt multipliers. At least in like New Game Plus mode, there's bolt multipliers. They're gonna kill me out here. Uh huh. Quark, are you coming yet? Oh, Captain Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Come and get me, hero. Oh, he kind of likes being a bad guy. He's getting into it. Great idea. Let's go. Is he gonna feel better after he beats him? Alright, Ratchet, can we stop this pointless arguing now? There's Jack again. Yeah. My favorite mode in this game. Ah! Locked on. Am I? No, no, I thought. I think it, the lock-on only works for one boat. One son of a, son of a white. And now we're fighting engine. Are we? Is this what is going on? Is this I don't get any missile drops, by the way. Well, maybe some of these guys will drop some. I don't know. Oh, 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 that's health. That'll do. It's very subdued battle music. Yeah. I get granted it's being drowned out by the battle. By by massive explosions? Yeah. Come on, go down. Go down, partner! With there's a lot in this that's comparable to Engine and like uh, even like you remember the the N Oxide fight in Crash. Well, Crash Bash wasn't Naughty Dog though. Okay. Yeah, why are you cheering? I'm winning. I think that was I think that was a yelp of fear. It sounded like a yelp of confidence. What do you say we- Oh, are you still there, kid? Uh, mayday! Mayday! Go let it, I say you passed the test! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> see you next game! No, we won't. We'll see the game after. Oh, yeah. 
Despite my earlier criticism, I must admit your piloting skills are improving. What? Improving. Come around. But that has not helped us locate Drek. Come on, Clay. Can't you just once relax and enjoy a little success? I've been an hey, asshole. You want to catch Drek? Bet you this baby can do it. Just a bunch of info bots cowering. This is Darla in Grass places. reporting live from yeah. Gorda City. This once peaceful planet is being torn apart today in an unprovoked attack. It now seems certain she survived that her encounter with the monster. Yeah. Well, not she's a robot. What was he going to do? Digest her? Destroy the galaxy for his own selfish needs. All hope certainly seems lost. Darling Gratch, Channel 2 News. All is lost. Um, yes, I know. It is worse than I expected, too. Look, maybe you were right. Fuck it. This is a lot bigger than you or me. I was really selfish. He says after Quark. finishing it his thing. To stop Dredd. Hey, yeah. We've got this new ship. Let's go get him. It yeah, is a pretty really sweet funny. ship. That's it. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how it is. This, this squabble ends is. Yeah, you're you're right. He just needed to get that out of his system. I guess. He just needed to take care of Quark. He needed to squash him. So just you know, inconspicuous little tower here. All right, I guess we saved the last part for when we take down Drek. Yeah. Finally, we, we killed we, the Quark. Game's over. We got Quark. Revenge achieved. <laughs> 20,000 bolts for the... Oh, boy. The gold bomb gloves. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome... What gold flamethrower. Gold blaster. What does the gold versions do? They're just... Only 20,000 for the gold blaster. Uh, they're stronger. Probably have better ammo count. Gold suck cannon. <laughs> blaster and maybe suck cannon. Are, are the are the good ones, I would say. Glove of Doom wouldn't be bad. There's no one with Gold Invisible Bomb. See, there's another... These are five of them, and then there are five other gold weapons somewhere else. Oh, my God. And I don't remember where those ones are at. They might be on, like, the very last planet. Which... Oh, oh there's there's a health... There's a ship health thing still floating out there in space. <laughs> hey, buddy! It's just, it's just trapped in orbit. <laughs> Can you, can you get it? I want that. No. Oh, it's a bomb. That's a, that's a hundred bolts to test out in dumb theory. Yeah. Why would we give it? It wouldn't collect it. It's not a sheep. <laughs> eh. Oh my god, that is a cool looking fucking fighter jet. Yeah. Look at that shit. This is what Roger Smith would fly. Oh, yeah. If he had an airship. This is what Batman would fly if he yeah, had this a is spaceship. The, yeah, this is the Bat space. I'm sure he has at some point. He had a spaceship? Yeah. The Teen Titans were able to get one. They were. Look, Clank, maybe you were right. I want to check one thing before we stop. Okay. Which level was it? The you're talking about like trying to swim up upstream? Yeah. Uh that was in like the first like I think it's this level. And I don't remember if it's just a gold bolt or if maybe they hid something like the the crate smash thing. Uh, maybe that is in this game and maybe it's there. This, this is where we're gonna go there, and then Rax is gonna be pissed off at him again. <laughs> no, this was before he was pissed off at him. Oh, so... <laughs> yeah, just land on level one with my bitchin' new ship. Yeah. Look at this fucking thing! It's so cool! It's so, like, nice and peaceful again. Ah, the simpler times of level one. Now that you have the hardware, you can activate the turbo jets by holding down the R1 button. Wee. Oh, that's so useful. We can also, uh... We can breathe in the sewers now. 
Maybe we'll just go, like, uh, revisit the previous planets next stream and, get, and, like, collect stuff before the final showdown. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. This game's easy to 100%. Well, well, we need to find the. That's the other thing we need to get is the. Uh, there's an item that shows you hidden areas on maps that would Ugh. make it immensely easier to find gold bolts. Yeah, I'm sure that we don't need to like grind for like. So we'll have to find where that's at. I think this is the. I can only go under. I can only do it underwater. I yeah. can't do it on the surface. Well, because then you get air in it, and it'll ruin the motor. Oh. Or, I have a motor. Mushrooms. We can sell these. Some of these. things in here. There's just crates up here. city where uh, Big Al was at. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you remember I there was that area that I thought was uh, suspicious. Yeah. I feel like that might have something to do with it. I also don't remember where exactly the Insomniac Museum is in this game. If there is one. Or if that's not till the next game. I thought I would think it would be until the next game, but that's just me. I can't destroy the hive. You need heavier artillery. What? Oh, no, it's okay, it's a fake hive. Oh, alright. Well, it's not it's just, it's just holographic, then. it's just holographic imagery. So that's it then, it's just a cave of slime things and, go and one gold bolt. Yeah, okay. you are correct. Well, I thought there'd be more in here. Darn. Alas. Oh well. I think we're done, though. Yeah. <laughs> We've been going a while. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, well... Uh, next time we'll probably be either finishing up Tony Hawk or Battle Network. Yeah, maybe I don't both. Know, we probably won't have time to stream tomorrow. Cause, yeah, um, he's doing got... something for Father's Day. Yes, but, he is. Uh, I got I... three days next week of work, and then uh, summer will officially begin. Yes, and I'm still on my regular schedule, so so we'll see if things uh, pick up then. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. And Thanks uh, for hanging out, and we'll see you later. Ciao.